good Thursday evening to you all. How's everybody doing? Crocodile, you wanted oolong? You're getting some oolong. Crocodile wanted oolong? Apparently, surprise How special guest. Yeah, I know. I, I just you didn't even know about that until I did, but it's a half an hour ago. It's in the title. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. It is in the title. Uh, we've got some tea. We've got some wine. We've got some whiskey. Um, does the T start with the letter W? Are we able to like do that? Like oh, woo long, woo long. I, like yeah, I just uh, yeah. No, no, I guess that doesn't. Probably I was hoping not. to tie that all in. Um, Unsweetened. Okay. There's a W in there somewhere. Okay, so it's wheatened. Uh, wheatened it's it's, it's unwheatened. It's yeah. It's will wheatened. It's will wheatened. It's will wheatened. Cool wheat. Uh, yeah, it is time for some Bow Beverages podcast. It is Thursday evening. We get together uh, most Thursday evenings, uh, right around four thirty Pacific ish. 7.30 Eastern, depending on the time of year. Uh, and uh, yeah, surprisingly, we talk about beverages. I'm Andrew. I'm Keith. And we uh, are that thing I just we said. We are about beverages. beverages. We yeah. are those it's things. It's right there. It's right. It is there right it is. there, literally hovering in space that we can't actually, you guys can actually see it. It looks like a tangible thing to you guys, but to us, it's it's nothing. It's nothing at all. Uh, sushi, Crocodile, it's good to see you both. How are you all doing? Um, should we just break out the tea right now? And get Let's into break into it. it. All right, right. Let me dive was, into We were told there would be oolong. We told Crocodile there would be oolong. Not two minutes ago. Yeah. This is one you had given me as an option a few weeks ago, right? When we did, whenever we did the green tea, yes, this was one that, uh, yeah, had been had been an option. Okay. Have you had this one before? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. But this is a favorite. It's uh, one I of like a to mutual keep a, friend. Yes, our, our friend. Uh, uh, Eric Eric Gasson. And you can actually He's, go back if you go way back in the archives on YouTube, you can see Eric hanging out in the tasting room. That's true. Having some beverages with us, some that he brought uh from well, he had someone deliver to him from far and wide, some cascade sour beers that were that and absolutely he, fantastic. He joined us some for gin? some other sour yeah, I think some we gin did the, as well. That was where we had the pound the, the no. Nolet. That's what it was. That was what it was. Yeah, the Nolets or whatever that yeah. was. Yeah. The the uh, what was it? the good and plenty gin, licorice. Kind of was it was a little licorice. It was not my favorite. No, it's not not what I look for in it. They gym. do kettle one vodka too, though. Oh, do they? Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Okay. I've not had an actual oolong tea in a very long time. I used to love the one that we we had the Formosa fancy oolong uh, at Arbuckle. Oh, that that's was right. Good. Yeah. Expensive. Yes. Pricey. That was one of the benefits of working there. Yep. Just In addition to many other things. Brew yourself a little be, cup. <laughs> brew yourself a cup of more expensive tea. Uh, uh, golden oolong. Da, da, da. What else is it? Is there anything else in here? No, I think it's just the tea. Oolong Maybe. tea. Uh, Exorbic acid. You know, the old uh, Son of a preservative, bitch. the vitamin C. Oh, my God. To maintain color. What color would it change to? Would it get darker? Would it get Maybe lighter? Maybe it uh, also just looks like water. Yeah, it just it might, it might get lighter. Maybe it get murky. Who knows? Maybe it get murky. I can Who see knows? that. Oh, it smells like some nice tea. Yeah, I like it. I usually try to keep one one or two of these in the fridge. Oh, okay. For it, yeah. No, just sometimes it's just the right thing. Oh, that's nice. That's good. Definitely has that. Yeah, it definitely. It's has got that, that kind of like a that upper, yeah, tea punch. <laughs> the oolong pinch. I was about the to oolong call pinch. It. The oolong, but that does seem the like oolong that, upper palate punch. Yeah, it reminds me of that a little bit. Like I said, every time I have oolong, there's always a little something like kind of middle of the tongue that just hits a little bit more of. It's a very light earthiness to it. Um, almost, it's just a little bit more of that kind of you know yeah that natural little bit tea of, flavor. Like yeah, it's just kind of fresh. Uh, out of the ground that fancy one we used to have even had a little bit of fruit note in it too which is always you know just add you know any more layers of depth and character you can add is always good for the most part how are you like it keith is actually in a new chair this evening yes uh like i said we've That's got a, i'm trying not to rely on the, uh, the armrests yeah because i don't want that to look weird yeah, but the armrests amazing. are amazing nice. now that's like i'm ready well, that's how you're building up your i'm arms. ready for action you're, you're like yeah I'm doing, I'm doing uh, bar dips right now. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to go get some wine? I'm off. I'm ready. <gasps> ready to make Spring a move. Spring from the chair. Good evening, good looking bevy bros. Baker, it is good to see you. Good evening, good looking. What you got cooking? On your birthday. That's right. Today is Baker's birthday. Baker's birthday, for birthday everyone. Today That's is right. Baker's birthday. Frosty, hello. Go wish Baker a happy birthday here in chat if you're around and hanging out. That April would be very, 18th, very nice. yes. April 18th. 
a long time ago. <laughs> a galaxy far, far we away. We won't mention the year. No. It was, well, enough for us to have been born. Yes. say that. Yes. Whatever that number could yeah. be. <laughs> we don't want to make that weird. You were six? Wait, yeah. that's not right. Where were you living? Arkansas? <laughs> Or your family tree doesn't fork. Uh, <laughs> Rossi, is good to see you as well. Like I said, yeah, Baker, happy birthday once again. Yeah. Um, okay. Did you get to anything uh, this week in the uh, in the universe? Did you watch anything? See anything new? Movies? Television? Anything exciting? We saw a Cub game. Well, we saw a Cub game That's to true. celebrate That's uh, true. Baker's birthday. The Cubs didn't want to celebrate Baker's birthday though. Well, they tried. An exciting game, right up until the end. The outco- yeah, not yes. the outcome. Exciting game though. But at least they won yesterday, so they took two out of three. They won the series. Rain out today though, so doubleheader Saturday. Oh, who are they playing today? Uh, they're back home to play uh, Miami, the Miami Marlins. Oh, okay. So, uh, Miami yeah. Hurricanes, that's a football team. That doesn't <laughs> seem right. right. What is baseball here, doing these here days? Here they are. Rock you like a Miami Hurricane. Guardian down. Good evening. How are you? Good to see you. Guardian down. You're late. Oh, ish. Ish. Yeah. Ish. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we saw a baseball game this week. That was, uh, that was good fun. Um, I've been talking about it a little bit. We watched a, uh, uh, TV series. I told you about that. That uh, three body problem. Oh yeah, you and uh, yeah, you and our, our other brother were speaking of that, mm-hmm. and that's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. It is okay. good. It is eight episodes. Dad duties. Gotcha. Guardian. Take down. care of, of course, those. Of course, those are the more important things. That's we're, right. we're nothing. You can always go watch us in the archives at youtubecom right. about beverages. Uh, you know, shameful plug right there. Thank you for setting me up for that. Uh, beverages tonight. I don't. Did I add? I don't know if I... I did add the oolong at the last second. It's actually... That one is actually on Trader Joe's website. I yeah. Could've, I could have actually put a link to that. Surprisingly enough. Shockingly. We're drinking Merlot. No, if anybody orders Merlot, I'm leaving. <laughs> I am not drinking any fucking Merlot. Okay, okay. <laughs> relax, Miles. Jesus, no Merlot. And much appreciated. Always a good that one. That clip does not get uh, banned on YouTube, so... Oh, good. Anything else? I know just the one last week you told me about. It. Yeah, I think it was just that one. I think it was honestly, it was just that one. Cause yeah, everyone else was doing a bunch of clips last week and uh, oh, yeah. everything checked out fine. So okay. uh, yeah, that was, that was kind of funny. Yes. We are having a, a rose tonight. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that there, Sam? Well, so <laughs> I was go- kind of good. Cause I, it's definitely, well, for me, white or rose wine drinking weather. Now it's always red wine drinking weather. It's 90, it's 92 As today here in Arizona. Yeah. But outside it's it not. Yeah. <laughs> so I, my, my attention's turned away from red into those. And so, uh, but I have my favorites that I go to a lot at the store. And, um, but I asked, uh, Fitz, our resident consigliere or whatever in the beverage consigliere, something, <laughs> uh, who has, who always has a good suggestion. I said, uh, I said, Hey, I said, what's a, a, a rosé or a white that I may not have had? that would be good for us to do on the podcast tonight. And pretty much without hesitation, he asked if I had had this one, the Les Portes de Bordeaux Rosé. And he said he would tr- definitely try that. And then there's another French white he recommended as well. But my mind was already, had already latched onto his first suggestion. I do like the rosés, I think, better than, at least initially, than white wine. Like, it's kind of a l- nicer bridge where it's like, I usually yeah. lean more toward red wine. So it's like, I still got a little bit of that in there. There's no info sheet on that. But he was saying it used to be 100% Cab Franc. Oh, so interesting. It's kind of a, an interesting uh, thing. And then, uh, then I don't know if, if you're linking to that video or not. There is a video for it. Oh, I, you know what? I don't know if I did not actually link to that. On the what? back of the bottle, the QR code takes you to a, oh, okay. a video. So. Springtime equals lighter wines. Yeah, usually I, I like to run with my for brother. Me. I kind of agree yeah. with that for the most part. It depends also what I'm, I mean, there's a little more factors. I mean, like depending on what I'm eating, usually it's like, ah, it still is the red wine. Like I'd rather have the red wine. And that's what I lean toward anyway. But yeah, yeah, depending on time of day and all that stuff. Having a combination of Drecker brewing tonight. The Drecker Ooh, down. Don't just okay. tease like that. I need to know what Dreckers you're having because that's some of my favorite beers, stuff from Drecker brewing. Whites for me have to be very, very dry. Okay. All right. Do you have a favorite? Crocodile actually dropped into a Trader Joe's the other day. Whoa. Mentioned, what, what was the wine you picked up? I totally forgot. But then I mentioned, I was like, oh, did you look for the one we did on the podcast? And he's like, no, I just had to run it out. So I grabbed the one that I know that I always get. He's like, but I'll look for okay. that one next time to see where it is or to see if they have it. Um, but yeah, I can't remember. Like, so what was, what was the one that you actually had uh, picked up? Um, there you go. So that's the one. And, and remember, that had been one of my go-tos. Right. And uh, I brought it over and it was a lot lighter and I was a little bit let down. 
Oh. We we could we should revisit that though because the I, I remember that particular vintage even looked light in the bottle, but I've looked at some since then and they don't. Oh, look, okay. Looked like that, so I wonder if maybe that just that vintage was bad because that always the was, dancing animals on. Yeah, that was always one of my favorite. Uh, did we we, did we we podcasted that one on? We did. We? Yeah, that was a little let down. As I said, I was going to need to look for another go to because it was a little heavier. At one time, because it was it was similar in style to Mayomi, but like half the price. Nine ninety eight. Because oh, it's yeah. made with uh, Pinot Noir grapes from three different uh, counties in California. There it is. God, that long ago? I guess so. Well, it was a 2016 Battalion. Maybe we didn't do it that long ago. So 2007. Oh, but that's with the old school graphic. I have a goatee. What is going on here? What world have I searched into? <laughs> is there another one? Gambler's Flash. There was one. I actually, when I was searching today, I for those, I was like, oh, let me see. I think I typed. Did I type in Bordeaux? I typed into something, and there was like, or maybe I just typed in wine or something. I wanted to see what Trader Joe's initially came up with, and there was one that actually looked mild, kind of interesting. And I was like, oh, I bet you've heard of this one. And it's probably like, oh, that's a this. It was, it was up at the top, but it was, oh, here it is. Ratified and repealed. Yeah, that was in the flyer of I was like, oh, flyers that's, I was back. like, oh, that's kind of a cool looking, like, again, the bottle and the name and stuff. And then, it but then was. When I, I clicked on it. It said Syrah, Petite Syrah, and Cab. I was like, oh, that sounds kind of good. I never tried it. And it even like when it was in the flyer, it didn't sell very well. So okay. I don't know if maybe it just didn't get enough pub. You know, like sometimes at the store, if we're not talking something up, it, it just doesn't. Or if we're not pouring it at, the, at a tasting table, which I don't think we ever did do that one, then a lot of times it just won't sell very well at our store. So, mm. um, but uh, I mean, it's not that we have to try. Mm. I, I saw it. I was like, oh, that looks neat. Yeah, oh, I love the name and the bottles. Yeah. yeah one of the kind of remind me of the, um, what was it? The Kings of Prohibition bottle. Oh, Remember okay. I was thinking of that. Oh, yeah. That. And that, that actually yeah. did uh, decently well on our website. <laughs> yeah. yeah actually, well, that was one you could get. I it was available to order only on our Trader Joe's order guide, but then it was one you could get actually at uh, Total Wine, that Kings of Prohibition. A goatee, I don't know, goatee, round beard, whatever you want to say. I did have yes. it. Do you want to? I I'll put the video in chat if you actually want to say. I had it. I've had it a few different times, only a couple times maybe throughout the course of the our podcasting. Um, this one's an older one because it's even like our older like janky graphic that I first came up with. Um, yeah, it was good where the olive is sticking out of my neck. Is that, that one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I think like so. That. But here, I'll put it up. Just put it in the pub? All right, I will look in just one second. Uh, what did we just say? YouTube will figure it out. Copy link address. Well, let's do it over here. Those are the right one. Hey, attention, everyone. Oh, that's an ad. Yeah, that looks like the right one, though. Five years ago. Okay, so 2019. There's more recent ones where I had the beard, because I know Guardian Down always liked looking for those. All right. Come on to look at the pub. Looking at the pub. All right. What do we yeah, got? Yeah, the, 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 the Naomi Ooh. and the Cotillion used to be very similar. Oh, a chunk. We've okay. got the... Ectogasm IPA. I think I've had that one. I don't know if I've had this chunk, but I've had some of the other ones of these Sunday Sours. Those yeah. are both. Have you opened any, either of them up yet? That looks tasty. I'm savor those. Yeah, those are both going to be really good. You've got a good night ahead of you. <laughs> that is definitely a good night for sure. If I'm feeling more spendy, I'll go for the Mayomi Pinot Noir that TJ's carries. I love the Mayomi Pinot Noir. That's one of my favorites. Like yep. I said, my wife and I, that was one that we. Like that's kind of one of the go-to uh, pinots that we'll grab. We'll grab that one, or I'm trying to think of what. Um, there was another more recent Pinot Noir. It wasn't a decoy, I don't think. No, I'm pretty. Oh, sure that's right. Last year, last week, we did the Grand Reserve San Luis Obispo. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, that uh, one was good. That was yeah. a good second day too. Oh, good. I, 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 I passed along your, uh, well, our. Uh, in, perceptions of it but also that you said it was probably one of the best trader joe's wines that i brought over in several months so yeah <laughs> it was just good like just everything like a lot of the ones we had had lately it seemed like it was like okay the nose is pretty good or like no and then it just for something in the taste wouldn't wouldn't do it for you but that one yeah. just carried through the whole way 
Bought the last three, four packs of Chonk. Yum, yum. Oh, yeah, those are really good. Sports ball tonight. <laughs> Clam, no sports ball tonight. Well, I mean, people are more than welcome to talk yeah. about some sports ball, but it'll be next week. I was already talking about that. We'll be doing some sort of yes. draft uh, chatter and having drafts during draft during the draft. Something like That's that. That's right. We got to we'll figure out, out like gonna... pick out like four or five beers to kind of go through a couple session things, some darker stuff like uh, should at least one of them be a crowler. You're really into that. Well, I just want I just to think have that seems like too much beer. A draft be for the draft. It. Well, it's only 32 ounces. I know, but we've got like four others. Well, we don't have to have four. Okay. So how many are we having? I don't know. We thought we'd have an arc. Like people like the arc shirt. Uh, the that the beer arc. Yeah. Okay. So I have to remember to wear that then. Okay. In a drafty room. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. The room will have a draft. We will be having drafts and the draft will be on. And at least we will be able to hopefully see the draft. I forget where I'll have to watch. What channel can I put? Maybe ESPN. Probably ESPN. Yeah. Okay. I would yeah, I can, that's I can, what it's on. Yeah, I can log into ESPN. Or NFL Network, maybe? Mike Greenberg. Greeny? Greeny. Bears are on the clock, and they are already eliminated from playoff contention. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, my God. Is that Leonardo DiCaprio? And weirdly enough, at the exact same time. With Tug of Iloa just got another concussion. I don't know how it happened. He literally just walked into a door. He actually but, stayed man. healthy the whole season. I was shocked. Didn't he? Yeah. I mean, good, well, good for him. The playoffs, unfortunately, but, you know. I'd like to at least make it to the playoffs so Guardian Down has one up on us. So, nothing new in the world of television for you then at all? or uh... mm, No. No, no, I just, we, I. Did you watch any of that anime yet? You're invincible that you were talking about. No, right I didn't now? watch that. There's like this whole list of things that's beginning to pile up now, especially with the two that you and uh, Joe have just added to my, to the repertoire. But yeah, no, just have not, have not watched anything new yet. Yeah. Big recommend. Three body problem is really good. Science fiction just kind of a different okay. take uh, on, you know, on the aliens coming to, you know, it's not the usual where it's like they're here and they're going to like, it, it's, it, it's like I said, it's, it's not like it's a secret, but I, the reveal of like this thing of like, this is how it's happening. It's kind of like, oh, that's, that's different. So I don't want to say what that is. Okay. Um, it's not like I said, again, it's not like a, a big secret, but it's like, that's kind of cool. Some other little things are neat, great yeah. acting, everything. Oh, what did you think of Argyle Sushi? Your big friend, uh, Henry, Henry Cavill was in that. Always. And that's perfect. <laughs> that was his brother on the field. Yeah. His brother actually took over for Tua last year. So oh. that's why he didn't get hurt. <laughs> Planty. Hello. How's Planty, it going? Hello. Planty uh, in our hearts today won a chili competition. He may not have actually won it, but in our hearts, he actually won a chili competition. As far as we're concerned, as far as we're concerned, he actually Planty was the victor okay. over the top, but fun. Where did you watch it? Sushi? Did you actually go to a theater? Or is that, is that on prime or something now? Where is Where is that at? I saw you can watch Dune 2 now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Vivian Keith. And so was Argyle. Ho <laughs> ho. There we go. Oh, it's on Apple. Oh, okay. Argyle. Yeah, there's that. Oh, there's the, what's the new, the League of Un Extraordinary Gentlemen? No, that's not what it is. It's something. Something like that, though. It's something like un ungentlemanly like something. Ungentlemanly like warfare, combat. I don't know what that one's called. That one looks fun. And I like Guy Ritchie stuff. At least I used to. He kind of had, you know, the quick cut, like fun kind of action I don't stuff. Know if I've seen a Guy Ritchie movie. Snatch? No. What? Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels? No. I remember you talking about those movies, though. He did the two um, um, Sherlock Holmes movies. Yeah, I never saw those. I either. saw the first one. I didn't see the second one. The ones with Robert Downey yeah. Jr.? Okay. I remember the first one being like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> The Ministry of the Ungentlemanly Warfare. That's what it is. You must watch, must watch Lock, Stock, and Two. I think you would like that. It's fun. It's kind of Tarantino-esque. You know, just like I said, snappy dialogue okay. and things like that. Yeah. A lot of guys you'll recognize kind of earlier in their careers, maybe. <clears throat> yeah, Lock, Stock is, is pretty good. I think I like Snatch better. Oh, Brad Pitt's in that. Brad Pitt's is in Snatch. Let's say that's, Micro that sounds, Yeah, that sounds... Those... I'm familiar with those titles, but just, and I remember, I've yeah, heard these words, I've heard the words spoken. Yes. I have heard these words yes. spoken, uh, watching them in order helps. That's true. I actually think I watched them originally in reverse order, but yeah, probably if you're going to, if you will commit to watching both do both of those, but yeah, microbes, it is good to see you. Good to see you as always. <laughs> Hopefully you're having a good Thursday. The words that have four movies, astounding thought. 
<laughs> these words have come together. I like Snatch too, but are you talking about uh, the movie Whoa. or is there a second version yeah. of it? What are we talking about here? I was here? wondering if <laughs> where Guardian was going with that. I know. We know where Guardian Gown's going. <clears throat> no, that was really good. Yeah, like it's got that. some it's got some good good flavor. Like there's that Arizona iced tea that I get out at Costco that's green tea and it's definitely sweetened. So okay. that's like a little easier and more refreshing, but this is still, well, this it is doesn't have refreshing. sugar in it. Yeah. And it's, and it's, I would assume a little more healthy, at least doesn't have that other stuff. You know, it's in that yeah, sugar. I'd rather so, not have the sugar. Yeah. I mean, I like, so I like for the most part, yeah. I like the flavored. Yeah. Sometimes I'll put like a little bit of honey in my tea, but not. Oh, no, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Just a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Uh-oh. They're already down there. I got that one. I got that one right there. Um, yeah, that is good. Um, I see you can already rent Dune 2. Yeah, that's what I was mentioning. I think that's on Prime. You can rent it. It's pretty expensive. How you doing, baby? How was the game yesterday? I think it was at, uh, I think it was at least. Uh, game was on Tuesday. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Unfortunately, the uh, Diamondbacks won. The Cubs did not win, but it was still good. <laughs> it was a grand slam. And a half for the grand slam. That was fun. Guardian down. Thank you for the gifted sub to Snatch Patrol. Wow. Which okay. is the adult version of Paw Patrol, I believe. Oh, okay. I think that is the adult version of Paw Patrol. But Guardian down. Thank you for the <laughs> gifted sub to Snatch Patrol. The patrolling of Snatch. But the food and beverage pregame. Pregame was food and beverage delicious. Was really delicious. Great yeah. waiter, like wait yeah. staff, yeah, like was service, good. everything yeah. was, was great. Uh, conversation, yeah. like I said, all that stuff was was wonderful. But yeah, the drinks were delicious. Mm -hmm. You made uh, an excellent choice of, uh, not surprised, oh. <laughs> on what bourbon to pick, uh, to, to have a, a man, to, to have a, as my Manhattan base, or in the Manhattan base. That was good. That was I good. Had, had one of those as well. Had a Knob Creek 12 Manhattan. That was delicious. Um, what else do we have? Espresso martinis, old fashions. Espresso martinis, good. Some old fashions. There was a pineapple gold rush that was there. That yep. was delicious. Yeah, just good, good food. We did the appetizer thing again. Maybe someday we'll actually have an entree. <laughs> All they ever do is appetizer, but they are so good. Yeah, that I don't think the last time we did that butcher's platter, that butcher's tray, I think we skipped it last time. We just did other did stuff. Okay. I don't remember doing that one, but like I said, yeah, this time yeah. when they had the they had deviled eggs on there with the, uh, it was like black truffle, truffle oil or something yeah. like Oh my God, it was so yeah. good. Did you go to a restaurant at the stadium? We did not. It was just outside the stadium is where we always go. It's called Arrogant Butcher. Uh, it's up in Phoenix. Uh, we've gone there for the last, what, four years now? Something like that before the game, roughly three, four years? Yeah, at something. least. Um, not Arrogant Bastard? Not Arrogant Bastard. That's what my <laughs> wife calls it all the time. Uh, Guardian snatched your platter. Why is the butcher so arrogant? I, I think because he just thinks he knows best. And he usually does. The food's really good. Yeah. Yeah. We had the butcher's meatballs. We had, like I said, they had the charcuterie board uh, that had different meats and cheeses and some olives and things on there. and. The uh, uh, shrimp was a new one that we had. Shrimp like was good the, too. Yeah, yeah the, like tempura kind of shrimp yeah. was good. The the pretzel oh. bites that they have are always so good with it. It's like a provolone fondue, I like just cheese. Need there. a ramekin of that, just a big spoon. Yeah, I could just I could yeah, literally drink that. That was delicious. Um, I'm trying to think, what else did we have? The little uh, toasts. The little, oh like, yeah, uh, those crostinis. Or yeah, whatever. Those yeah, good. those were really good. Jeff has balls of meat. Where are we? Where are we going here? I know. I mean, it's true. He does. There was five of them, which maybe that was the most interesting part. Since you were talking about food, and I am jealous, it is time to flip that around. Okay, what do you got going? Here he comes. Frosty's gonna bring it to the show. What are you having tonight for dinner? You having something good? Um, but yeah, that was. Oh, and then we got the the nacho, the carnitas, smoked carnitas nachos. Yeah. Oh my God, those that is always so good. Just a perfect blend of everything. Bison round medallions. It's, that sounds all right. Are you doing your usual like a vegetable medley or um, what do you always do? You always do like some roasted potatoes and vegetable, maybe a salad. But yeah, that sounds like a good way to start. No audio, but please pass along to Keith that I like his shirt. Keith. Oh, well, of course I'm wearing the lucky shirt. Yes. I thought of that when I put this on today. I Did thought you? Lucky's going to say that I See wore the shirt comes in. just for him. <laughs> yes. Potatoes and sautéed veggies. There we go. I should yeah. just cover up this. There we go. <laughs> says Lucky. Lucky. What else says on there? <laughs> Lucky. You funny. Swatted. Swatted. 
Having a Trader Joe's organic kale salad with chicken for dinner. Did you get the chicken also at Trader Joe's or does it come in there? Uh, That one I think comes with the chicken. Okay. So is it already like grilled or something? (laughs) Boob cam went. That's not (laughs) happening. That's against terms of service. We'd have to go to kick or something like that and we're not doing it. Oh, because Lucky's actually. Yeah. Wow. He's he's serious multitasking. (laughs) (laughs) Bummer. I know. I know. Boob can't. We do maybe like side. No, No, we're not doing that. We're not allowed to put a camera like any of that way. All this food talk making me hungry. Microbes, why don't you have something to eat? Or did you already have something to eat? Delicious shrimp, did you mention? Yeah, we had uh, the shrimp uh, as well, Baker. Shrimp we did mention. <laughs> we did mention that. Uh, Baker kind of has Yoda coloring there on the insignia <laughs> there. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, we had that. Yeah, it was like a tempura battered shrimp. What were those peppers like you were eating so boldly? Shishito. Shishito peppers. Because yeah. you said like one out of five. Well, can be suppo- like a, no, can supposedly be a like mofo. they say in a... Because we sell a bag of them at Trader Joe's and supposedly there can be... At least one that's very hot. In There's there. one in there with knives out to come yeah. get you. But we didn't, uh, I did not encounter those in the two that I ate. So I think Joe ate one at least. Yeah, I didn't have one. Yeah, so I do like the peppers, but I'm glad I didn't get a hot one. You're like, you kind of just barely bite into each one. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. no, this one, they're okay. all okay. okay. Like, well, they're all yours you now. Guys you guys can have bit, it. Yeah. No, no, no. I they're did this yours for you. now. Exactly. Um, all right, should we go get a little bottle of wine that you brought over? Bottle of wine, fruit of the vine. Okay, let's, let's do that. Let's go get some glasses. I missed first drink. Do you have a link? Uh, actually, I can put that in chat. Give me one second. Normally, I do have a link in that exclamation point beverage command, but this one was a late edition. Um, and surprisingly, it actually was on Trader Joe's website. Trader that Joe's surprised some, me as well. Trader Joe's is not always the best with having stuff unless it's in the flyer on there. So uh, there you go. There is the link right there. It is the Trader Joe's Golden Oolong Tea. Nothing else in it but water and tea. Unsweetened. And ascorbic acid. All right. There's ascorbic acid in there. Uh. I don't know. Um, all right. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to go grab some wine glasses. Again, if you got here late, don't forget to wish Baker a happy birthday. It's her right. birthday today. Birthday. All Woo-hoo. right. Woohoo. We will be right back. We are back. Paco, hello. Guardian down. Thank you for the gifted sub to fuck you say to me. <laughs> so, wait. Wow. <laughs> thought that was Thank the new, you for uh, the gifted sub. It is not the <laughs> player the Cubs signed. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> that's Fukudome or something. Oh, that's right. That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the gifted sub to fuck you say to me. <laughs> fuck you say to me. Uh, let's see if I can actually give you as well the fair... Hundred percent. He wrote it here. I think I can replay it. Hold on, because I don't know why it's not on that other one. <laughs> it's actually Fuku. Which one? Two talented Beverly Brothers back at it again. Sam, it is good to see you as well. Paco, hello, it's good to see you. Thank you guys for wishing a baker some happy birthday at love and chat. We appreciate that. Um, all right, let's see if we can find. <laughs> it's not actually Paco's birthday when you're in my channel. He gets enough of that, everybody else. Here it is. And replay it. Good afternoon, everybody. There we go. Oh, no. down this full money's worth there. I'm sorry, no. Thirsty guy walks into a bar. You finish it. So it's not actually Paco's birthday? It is not Paco's birthday. Okay. All right. Okay. No. Unfortunately, Bad somebody Guardian. at some point started some joke and it has continued on forever that every day is Paco's birthday and she gets annoyed. Oh. Every chat she goes to, she's like, it's not my birthday. Okay. I am the only one in this ch- in the uh, only channel that if you type in Paco command, it actually says it right there. It's not my birthday. Don't listen to me. It's a lucky <laughs> thing, apparently. It is nearly never my birthday. There are 364 days when it is not, not Paco's birthday. That's right. It's that's not right. Paco's birthday. That's it's correct one day out of the year. That's true. Okay. I try to keep this a sanctuary. Try to keep it a sanctuary. Okay. Um, but yeah, there you go. Guardian down. Thank you for the gifted sub as always. Once a year, it is correct. That is correct. Also, they have now gotten complete strangers in games to tell me. I've, yes, the, the joke has gotten far and wide. 15,000 points, 735,000 more to go for a, till they get a t-shirt. Brothers carries Bev in a backpack of PvP. I don't think that's what the t-shirt says. That's not how it works. I make the t-shirt. You don't get to choose. <laughs> Keith gets to flex. I get to make a t-shirt. That's about it. That's, a, that's how the game goes. I do not want to flex. 
You've got time. I have expired. You've got time to work out. My flex, uh, my flex time has expired. Maybe by the time, like, long since past. Brothers will just go to turn in the redemption, and you're like, I'm done podcasting, and you just yep. walk out the door. <laughs> done. <laughs> Retired. You never know. <laughs> Speaking of jokes, I missed this one. I know. Aurora, did, you missed it, Guardian. Now, Aurora was in here, like, a couple weeks ago. She's still been super busy, but wanted to pop her head in. Uh, it was super nice. I got to reach out and say hi to her again. But, yeah, so suck of those bigs. That was Aurora's uh, little comment at some point. Yeah, this is unfortunate for you, Paco. But yeah, we are we are back once again. We've brought, uh, or I shouldn't say we, you've brought a bottle of wine to the table. Well, I brought Joe's. it here and we've brought it to the table. We are sharing it. With, we are going to share it with, with everybody you. else. Yes. With all of you. Yes, yes. I've helped 48 new lights in Grandmaster. Oh, that's nice, brothers. Chilled? It is chilled. It's actually chilled. Borderline, it's cold. Yeah. Well, I knew it, you know, it needs to attain a certain chilledness because then it will lose that once it is removed from the fridge oh okay yes uh i'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this this was suggested by uh fits that you work with right Uh, our uh fits who we reference beverage probably weekly (laughs) now it has been lately (laughs) well if you'd get outside of trader joe's to look for beverages you wouldn't have to reference fits that's true Uh, I save some money that way. He's like, I never go to any other stores. Right. I have no life insurance. Just, just this place. This, just this place. <laughs> yeah, maybe within the next week or so, I'll have to get out and, or the next couple of days. I'm assuming yeah. our beer selection will be not just from Trader Joe's. Well, it could be. No, but no stop. Probably. Your God, no, stop. <laughs> I'll bring over the Fate IPA. and Okay. Yeah. Well, I would, the Fate IPA, that's different. That's, that's at least good. not Trader Joe's IPA. Right. And the big spill <laughs> pills. I could bring a couple. Dad would probably like that, so. Yes. But this is a rosé. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it. How do you pronounce this? Actually, Let's I have a graphic. Let's make this easier. Wait, no, not that one. <laughs> Les Portes de Bordeaux. Le Portes de Bordeaux. I guess. So if it's Bordeaux, it has to be from France? It is correct? from, yeah, it is the from the Bordeaux region. region of France. There is, and I eventually, actually, if you see this bottle, or I, I don't even know what the, but there's a QR code on the back, because there's no info sheet for this wine. There used to be, but it's not, uh, but there isn't any more. But the QR code will take you to a, about a minute long video, um, and it just talks, you know, it's not, doesn't really give you a lot of detail, but it's, you know, some pretty scenes of France and I can see if I can some pull it up here in a second and, once we yeah. pour. But, uh, uh, but uh, at least at one time, uh, the information I was given is this was made of 100% Cab Franc. Uh, so we will. Uh, let's see on the back. 13%. Doesn't say anymore. This is one of the lighter okay. ones we've had lately. So but but still yeah. for a rosé, 13%. Yeah. That even seems like a high number. Mm. Seems like a high number. Trader Joe's insurance is in depth better than life insurance. <laughs> Uh, the ports of borders. We don't have borders in the U.S. Ouch. Borders here. Just these specific ones. All right. Let me see if I can find. I'm pretty sure I bookmarked that link. But then I bookmarked the link. And then I was like, Keith, what have you sent me? It's just some random video of some people out of Vineyard. <laughs> I was like, does this, does this place not actually have an actual website? Oh, my God. That's a, oh, okay. There it is. Clicked on that. Hold. Let's see. I'm gonna go. Where? Hey, this is you know, one we've carried for years, and I actually have never tried it. So really, yeah. And so okay. when he suggested that, it was like good. Neither one of us has had this one. So many years ago. Wait, Fitz has had it though. Fitz has. Oh yeah. Oh, there it is. Here, and then I have to pick that I want that one. Oh, we're going to all, well, all watch it together? Well, yeah, you've been talking about it. I don't want to necessarily like, well, oh, no, 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 I didn't know it. if you were just going to put the link into it. That's no, all. no, no, we'll play it. Okay. I don't know if, I don't know if that's the right, proper sizing. Let's see. You have made this. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea, like. And hit play just so I can see, see what happens. Video. There we go. I just wanted to see actual like yeah, where the video it is did itself. Well. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. There. The guy actually says, and he'll he'll pronounce it for us. Whether he says it right, I don't know. He doesn't sound very. That would be funny. French. <laughs> Random link to the flexus trout. Random link to does nothing at all. Oh, it's quiet. 
The very best wines oh, transport you to a particular time and a place, giving you unique access to all of the factors that make up the most incredible bottles. The weather during the growing season, <sighs> the traditions and Jeez. culture that define a wine region, and the myriad decisions that a skilled winemaker must undertake Wait a minute. <laughs> for you to the most you must undertake ever. This guy. Very serious. This guy has some skeletons in the closet and possibly a body. <laughs> I'm sorry. This guy, there's something with this guy. He's like, he's like, I make wine and murder. There's something with him. Yeah. He's, it's a little creepy. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in danger. Yeah, exactly. This guy wanted to be Harry Potter, maybe. Harry Potter's like his, he did like one of, yeah. I he, knew this video would evoke conversation. <laughs> Pocket, how's it oh, going? Hi, Good to see you, Pocket. How are you? <laughs> Pocket tuned in just in time to see the guy intensely looking yeah. at his wine. I look, <laughs> I look, stranger danger. I look through this wine into your soul. <laughs> then I murder you. Stranger <laughs> danger is right. Yeah. All right. Well, let's continue on from stranger. Right yeah. here. Port de Bordeaux celebrates this vinous journey Port. by Port opening the door for you to the most famous wine growing region on earth. Nowhere else do My wines drive like they do in this exalted corner of southwest France. And just saying the name Bordeaux immediately <laughs> do in this exalted corner of southwest France. And just <laughs> he, it's like he didn't know the sentence ended where it did. Yeah, just saying the name the exalted corner of southwest France. <laughs> He's like, oh shit, there's more to that sentence. <laughs> The sonnet's not done. Next on Criminal Minds. <laughs> My dumping grounds. <laughs> Poke the what now? <laughs> yeah, I gotta hear that one more time. Region on Earth. Nowhere else do vines thrive like they do in this exalted corner of southwest France. And just saying the name Bordeaux immediately conjures an image of precision, of viticultural know-how, and oh, most of all, yeah. of quality. Port de Bordeaux embodies Bordeaux's most cherished wine styles with a hearty, robust, and full-bodied red, an elegant, refined, and sophisticated white, Fine. and a fruit-forward, crisp, and food-friendly rosé. That's what he said. We invite you to open the door to Bordeaux and all of its viticultural charms every time you pull the cork on a bottle of Port de Bordeaux. Port de Bordeaux. <laughs> Wait a second. On Earth and Southwest France? Oh, is that what he said? <laughs> Uh, so this is two. Th no. the, the wines they're showing in there are 2019, so it's at least three Nowhere years else different. Vines thrive here. By opening the door for you to the most famous wine growing region on earth. Nowhere else do vines thrive like they do in this exalted corner of southwest France. And just saying the name. No, I think that's, I think that's okay. <laughs> Where is Moira Rose when you need her? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, damn. Moira. I thought about that show in a while. Man, that was a good one. That was a that good one. That was a good season. Yep. You watched all that, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was good. We enjoyed that. Nice pale pink. Not too pale. Yeah, kind though. of a rose. Yeah. Oh, actually, oh, yeah. yeah. It's a rosé that is the color of a rose. <laughs> La Vie and Rose. Do you have the, do you guys actually carry the other ones? The other we do. three? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We've got the Sauvignon Blanc and the red. The red's been a, a big seller for years. That one um, looked, at least in the glass footage they have, they're darker than when I see a Bordeaux normally. Yeah. Usually when I have a Bordeaux, usually to me, they're usually kind of on the, the lighter side. Like they're not. One of my coworkers, coworkers years ago who, who did know a lot about wine. He, and I don't know whether this is true. He, he always referred to at least that red as being Americanized altered a little bit to, oh, okay. for the American palate. Um, and I've had, and I'm overall, you know, some French wines can be a little too much on the earthy side for me. I, I mean, I appreciate them for what they are, but then there are some that like I had that one a couple of weeks ago, I told you about that grand crew and that was, that was really good. I really okay. enjoyed that. Um, but that, uh, but that red, the red has sold a lot. It's been a big seller for years. The wine speech could be a cool caps thing. It could be, it could be that that's not a bad idea. I'll have to look for that. Maybe this is my inexperience talking, uh, but that rosé do be looking pretty uh, white. I think that this is honestly, if you're looking for a rosé, yeah, it might be a little hard for yeah, you to it's see. To it's it's pink, yeah, which is what a rosé yeah. usually looks like because yeah. I forget how the process works. Isn't there it, are some that are even lighter is it where than they this. Just leave the skins on. There's it? there's several different ways you can do it. Oh, okay. It can be just a quick uh, a, a, a quick contact with the skin uh, to give the color. 
um, there's, yeah, there's a lot of different, there's th- many different ways it can be done. Cause it still is a red grape, which is what I never really knew. Right. Right. Cause most of the color comes from the skin. So that's right. like, that's how long exactly you keep how in contact. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's like, yeah, this is just, unfortunately you can see it better here if I hold it in front of, yeah. Or like Keith did it's, it's pink. It is definitely pink. Yeah. If you hold it kind of out here, that's where it gets a little more champagne Chardonnay kind of look. Yeah. But it so, definitely yeah, has that. I've seen some lighter, a lot lighter than this actually. Not pink. Yeah. Unless you hold it like sit again in front of a black background or against my face. I've had a couple of whites and rosés and not that I could name them. <laughs> pink down below. Interesting. All right. Settle down. Settle down, clam. Whoops, there it is. What do you think? I like it. There isn't anything specific that really jumps out at me. No, just little, very light. Fruit, just very light. A little but, strawberry. But yeah, that, I guess that would probably be the only. A little light strawberry. A little alcohol maybe almost coming through a little bit. The, thir- the 13% shining through. Yeah. I mean, it's not like it's bad. Like I right. don't mind that, but it's like, you know, you can definitely kind of like tell like, oh, that's, yeah. that's you know, there's a, a little, little bit of that's kind of the base. Yeah. The yeah. heat to that. So now the little video said fruit forward, I think. It did. Um, Fitz had said this was more, he, those weren't the words he used. He said forward fruit. Forward fruit. He reversed the two. Yes, he did. A whole so different meaning. They were the context. words, but not in the right yeah, way. No, seriously. <laughs> um, he was saying a little bit more of a savory something going on, but... I actually do get that. That's actually it makes my mouth water. I was going to say that. Yeah. It's there's a, there's a little bit more of a richness to this than yeah. usually I get out of other roses. Yeah. It's not quite as sweet, which again, that could be what you want or don't want. Like that just kind of depends on what you're looking for. I think it's still fairly refreshing, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, there's a little bit of fruit, but yeah, I, I could see saying there's something savory. Maybe that's what's actually yeah. kind of making my mouth water a little bit. There's a little, a little bit of fruit. A little tart in there. We can almost not taste the fruit. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> exactly. We can almost. I got. Wait. Yeah. Well, it's good because no. it is just kind of nice and. It's, it's kind of easy drinking, actually, but still has some good flavor. And yeah, like I said, there is a little bit more body maybe to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It definitely strawberry. Yeah. Yeah. Very much strawberry. That's good. I yeah. like that. No, I, like I actually that like too. it more on subsequent. Like the first sip, I was like, oh, yeah. that's pretty good. You know. Yeah. But no, that's nice. And I think as it warms up a little bit too, maybe it was a little too chilled. That's um, always possible. Like I, said, I shouldn't you, have kept it in the freezer. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's those ice wines you've heard yeah. so much about. I make my own ice wine. That's not how ice wines work for people in chat. <laughs> so it might just. You're yeah. making a joke. <laughs> yeah, no. It's not how. We're it's, joking. It's not how you actually make an ice wine. Because you can't. We know that people can. Have we ever actually had an ice wine? I don't think. I we know have. we've talked about them. Yeah, and we were always like, because they're expensive. Usually, they're more expensive. They're uh, they're on the expensive side, but I think that might be actually maybe next time we get one in, which is usually in the fall. Maybe I'll what? grab one. Yeah, we don't Shocking. really usually carry one. They there. actually have to wait till it gets cold somewhere. Well, you can. It's just not one that we oh carry year. We gotcha. used to carry different ones year round. Oh really? Yeah, uh, but not. Yeah, it's been a while now. This one's from the polar ice caps. How do they grow wine up there? <laughs> I don't know. There's this one vine. There's one bottle made every year. It's very expensive. Very, very expensive. Special devices like a freezer. We can all make ice. I said that's not how it works. You jumped on that joke too late. I knew someone was going to say it. I knew it. And the picture that you are showing on screen is the exact bottle. that. No, actually, it's not the exact bottle. No, no, I'd already bought that bottle. And then you said, send me a picture. So it's not. (laughs) Yeah, I ruined That's that. That's funny. Yeah. I thought it would be. It looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> Go Rosé. Well, that's good. Now I... I yeah, I like yeah, it. Uh, I like what it. was the price? Eight bucks? Ten bucks? Seven ninety nine. Oh, okay. It used to be... It was a time it was five ninety nine. I know it's not that anymore, but it's, so it's either six or seven ninety nine. I can't remember which one. 
looks like apple cider though yeah it, it has a little bit of a change of cut like i said here's the actual but like i said again you can tell against my shirt it's a yeah. little bit more pink yep that was against a white or beige, beige background that i took that and khaki not be you know and with my with my cell phone and not being the professional photog eh, it's sometimes so. weird but then and also i've got to remove the background sometimes that does funky yeah. stuff to it too it's way darker. Yeah. Yeah. You can kind of, yeah, you can tell. Sorry. That's why I kind of wanted to get this. Since yeah. you mentioned it, that was good to kind of show that off. Car key pants. Yeah, exactly. Khakis. Yeah. No, for six bucks, this is an easy recommend. This is good. It's not six, but. Oh, they used to five ninety nine. I said it was five ninety nine. dollars I said it's either six ninety nine or seven ninety nine. Oh my God. I can't remember. Seven ninety nine. it's a big no. Yeah. No. Six ninety nine. Two dollars pushed it yes. over the edge. Exactly. Oh, for you sometimes that's done. Or you're like, well, for two dollars, I could have like. You. I've kind of gotten past another, that for the okay, most part. Is there another rosé there that is cheaper that you think you like better? Um, if we're playing that game, if we wanted to the uh, traitor inflation, I'm out. The um, <laughs> the La Ferme Julienne, which is one that uh, one of our nieces always liked as well. Oh, okay. One, yeah, that one is still five ninety nine, and so it's, it's kind of. I would always when people wanted a rosé at the store, I would recommend it because it's sort of in the middle between the the really the fruitier ones and the really dry ones. It's oh, okay. kind of in the middle there, which I kind of think this is sort of not. This is sort of in that range too, but the La Ferme is a little thinner body wise. Actually, I really do like the. Not that I think it's I'd, like a full body. I but think I'd pay for the more. extra body. Like I yeah, like, I like that. that. The other one I did like, but it's from a while ago. Remember when we had the stuff from Empathy? Like we had that rosé oh, yeah. we tried all through. That yeah. was good, but that was also 20 bucks. Yeah, that was the, we tried, there were three, right? Did yeah, we, we the had a red, white, the white. Right, red, and white, the, and a rosé. Like we basically, I bought like that mixed pack. Uh, that was our good those. friend Gary Vaynerchuk, right? That was, that was a Gary V joint. Yes. Which I think he sold that company at some point or. That's what I don't know, because it used to be, because it, it's still part of, was it Wine Library or whatever, but that, okay. you know, there's like weird things with all that stuff. <laughs> Bev just said he would pay for extra bodies. I did not say bodies. The like guy in the that. video, he said he'd pay for extra bodies. He, yeah, he, that guy definitely <laughs> did. I knew, I knew right where he was. Yeah, this guy said he would pay for some extra bodies. <laughs> I have some uh, things going on this weekend. I am very interested in this wine and uh, also your women. How much for your women? <laughs> The voice, the voiceover thing did sound a little like funny. The couple enunciations. It needed a different. different. It needed someone that. It needed you or me. A like little bit, well, or a little bit of a, either a French accent or, or something. The guy yeah. was just almost a little bit too much like this. He was overdoing it. Yeah. Just pull that back a little bit. I have a basement party full of body. I mean, the wine. <laughs> Is where I keep in my cellar is where I keep the bodies. I mean the spirits, the spirits. I mean the wine from the spirit. <laughs> anyway, come come and see my place. It's a lovely chateau down on the corner, Broad Street and Thirty First. Down on the corner. <laughs> that is good though. I like that. Mm. It does. Would it again. you buy it again? Yes, I would. I would, and I will. Yeah, I will say, and and will you? I will. Yeah. Is this one okay? Is this another one that is like seasonal year round? No, or? we have this one year round. Okay. Yep. All three of those? The I'm white, assuming? yeah, all three of those. Have you had any of those other ones that I, I think I already asked? I've that. had the red, but it's been several years. Okay. Yeah. Does that mean you were not a huge fan of it by saying No, it, it, it was fine. So some of them are, they're just fine. like, they're, they're, sometimes there are so many choices. It's like, I'm not going to necessarily go back to that one because I either, usually it's because there's others to experiment with or there are others that I've just liked a lot more. Uh, but it, right. from what I recall, it was it was fine. Greetings and salutations. Oh, greetings and salutations, beverage boys. Cope, how's it going? Good to see you. How are you? How are you this fine, fine Thursday evening? I don't know why I almost said Saturday. Thursday evening. Hopefully it is going well. It feels like Saturday. We're partying with some wine. So it does a little bit, actually. What are we going to bring over to the party? Do you have any idea? You were just mentioning something. No, I probably should Saturday. try to get to uh, get to our. Uh, it's a tap and bottle, I think. Bring over a couple of fun things. <clears throat> it is time for me to branch out side of Trader Joe's. <laughs> you probably have gift cards you can use a tap and bottle. So. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, End points and all that stuff. So, Oh, yeah, that too. Some credit. Points. Yeah, I got to look. I probably have a couple things here, but I probably should pick up a few others. When do you think? Are you going on Saturday? Or when are you going to go? Maybe I'll go after work tomorrow. Saturday I work till two, so I probably won't want to do it. Yeah, maybe I'll go after work tomorrow. Check it out. 
Wishing it was Saturday and that I had wine. The weekend is highly anticipated for me this week. Oh yeah, what are you? Are you doing anything Uh-oh. special this week, or is it just it has been a hellish week of work and I just want to relax? Could be could be both of those things, or you could do anything fun. Branch out. You just go to a different Trader Joe's. Joe Traders. <laughs> go to a different Trader yeah. Joe's. I'm gonna branch out. My God, I'm tired of going to this Trader Joe's. I'm going to another one. I'm going to a different one. <laughs> that would be funny. Hell's Week of Works, it will be uh, special to not be there. Gotcha. That's right, because you had to work last weekend, too, didn't you, on Saturday when you were doing the... What was it, when you were doing the charity stuff? I'm going to Trader Moe's. Yeah, there you go. Trader Moe's, that's it. That guy seems like somebody we would have seen on uh, the... the I still have the video still up on the other screen. Oh. So it seemed like somebody that might have been on Super Seducer back in the day. <laughs> this guy totally could have been on Super Seducer. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh this this guy offers you a glass of wine and uh, and a toast. Do you respond or do you, <laughs> do you, you, do you, you walk away? Walk away. <laughs> you walk away. That man has drugged and put something in your wine easily. We're working a ton, maybe to uh, peruse the local whiskey section this weekend. Nice. We actually are about to have a whiskey here in just a minute, Cope. So maybe this one might uh, excite you. So we'll try this one. I've heard kind of mixed reviews on it. Um, from, like I said, I guess, so the Heaven Hill uh, that we we're going to have that I just put the link to in chat, Bottled and Bond 7 Year. Oh, sure. Um, his alter ego is Will, Cro- is Will Crosby. <laughs> Instead of Bill Cosby, it's Will Crosby oh, over here no. with his wine. Oh, well, he's putting stuff in oh, there. Oh, thank you. Um, so it's the Heaven Hill 7 Year Bottled and Bond. Um, my whiskey senses were tingling. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's Heaven Hill Seven Year Bottled and Bond. Um, at Costco, you can find it for right around forty bucks. I think it's a little more if you buy it other places, maybe forty five or fifty. Um, I think that was maybe one of the negatives against it. Some people said it had gotten a little expensive. It used to be a six year bottled and bond, and then and I think it was around thirty dollars. And people used to love it. They were always like, "Oh my god, this is a great one for just you know sipping as a mixer, like all that kind of stuff." Um, and then they. I think took it away for a little bit. And then when it came back, it came back as the seven year bottle and bond, a little bit more expensive, an extra year of aging. So the mixed reviews were like, some people either liked that little bit of extra Oak. Some people didn't, didn't like the price. So okay. we're going to kind of determine all those factors. Is it worth, like I said, at least for me, it seems like right now I can get it all day long for about 40 bucks. Um, so a little bit out of mixer territory, but if it's really good, maybe it's like, Oh, this is good for an old fashioned. If I want to up the ante a little right. bit, might be good for a Manhattan hundred proof, which we obviously I like. So, well, we certainly enjoyed the, like the, the, that knob, I don't know what knob Creek 12 is, but it was damn good. That's that, that should that be a hundred proof, I think. Right. But is as oh. far as a cost from a cost standpoint, that one is usually 50. Okay. 50 or 55, I think you can that get it. Was a, that was I enjoy the Heaven Hill. That, well, we're going to find out. HJ, how's it going? It is good to see you. Creepy yeah, he totally guy. looks like a creeper. Let's get him off the screen. <laughs> I tell you, if you come back later, the women, they're in the back. They're in the back. They, uh, <laughs> what a creepy whiskey like video, me. too. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if I have a creepy whiskey video. <laughs> a creepy wine guy, should he get a sub? Oh, God, please no. He's staring into my soul. Yeah, let's get him off the screen. Let's get him off the screen. Let him off. Um, but yeah, definitely recommend on this. I'm, I'm going to take him off the other screen too. I didn't want to, I don't even want to have the opportunity to bring him back on. Um, oh my gosh. Heaven Hill. How much information these little like age gate things are so silly. Cause I never put my actual, that's not stuff. your birthday. I know. I never put my actual birthday. It's you like, lied. So, It'd be funny if it came back and said, you lied. Yeah. That's not your birthday. Yeah. Seven days for the Chicago Bears draft Tom Brady away Caleb Williams. A draft analysis called him the next Brady. I hope he's not the next Brady because I hope for an actual better quarterback. <laughs> Nailed it. Overhyped? I hope not. Yeah, I hope not. The next Brandy. I <laughs> heard the next Brandy. That'd be even he's better. He's a fine quarterback. Yeah. I don't think I've heard anyone compare it. That, that's surprising. I have heard no one mention Tom Brady. That's very interesting because his skill set is not that at I've all. I've heard Mahomes. Or Patrick Mahomes, which is also a reach, I'm sure. Like, you know, yeah. all these things people start being able to. Mahomes, what was the other one? Mahato. Mahato. Yeah. I hope it's a joke. Yeah, that's. I'd like a little more mobility in my quarterbacks. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit of pocket movement. Is there any chance the Bears don't draft him? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it unless. I, I can't even think of what that situation would be. Someone would. I, I don't even see why they would do that. Like, is it like the trade? Unless, unless, unless you were literally only going to drop two and you got a giant haul and you pick the, and you pick, you know, 
you pick Jaden Daniels or something like that. Like, so, but even then I don't, I don't think he's, I think he's kind of a, I don't know. I don't think he's nothing is a surefire thing, but no one's yeah. well, he's <laughs> Mike, yeah, I like Mike Vick. That's, that's, that's what I go for. Well, a Mike week Vick. ago <laughs> or a week from now at this time, we'll know. That's true. When we do our, enjoying our draft, do our, draft yeah. our draft special, yeah. when we do that, see who the bears pick at one and pick at nine. Uh, and hang out for some other ones as well. I, be, I think there's going to be some at least, I think in the top 20, there's going to be a lot of some interesting, fun things to watch in okay. conversation. So, so draft now is saying what they could do is trade back to seven and draft to Penix and then take a Dune. I mean, they're going to get a Dunze anyway, probably. I think that option could very well be there. So they don't need to drop back. And why would you drop back for Penix? You would have to, again, all of those things, the, the haul you would have to somehow get would be ridiculous. And even then it's silly. Why would you finally give away from getting like the actual quarterback that you've hoped to finally get for forever. At least the best chance you've ever had of getting one. Yeah. That would be silly. Actually, it is Michael Vick. It's Michael Vicks. He has a vapor rub that he also does. Vix. No water rivers. <laughs> God, Philip Rivers had the weirdest throwing motion like ever. That was always... That was always I've never seen someone that had to put yeah. so much work to throw yeah. a 20-yard pass. Yeah. He was, he was, what was it? We always joked about he's country strong, country strong and city poor. Evan Hill, they do, what else is in their portfolio? That, uh, other bourbons that's the other, um, I mean, Our under that umbrella. Oh, McKenna. Is that, did yep. I see that? Oh, okay. We've had that, right? Yeah. We did a podcast yeah. on the McKenna. I actually just finished that the other day. Um, if anyone has, gets a bottle of the Heaven Hill 18 and wants to send it to us, we'll be happy to try that. Um, oh, they do the Mellow Corn. Oh, they do the Rittenhouse Rye, which you had in the old fashioned. The other, no, no, that was, a, that was Redemption. That was Redemption, actually. That was Redemption. But that's the Rittenhouse right. is, no, not Rittenhouse. It was Old West. That that's what it was. Someone, had, yeah. But yeah, it was the Redemption. Oh, yeah. They're the Elijah Craig. They're the Larceny okay. stuff, too. So we've obviously, we've had the Larceny. Rittenhouse Rye, Evan Williams, Ah, the old Fitzgerald. Oh yeah, Larceny. We've done mm-hmm. that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You've had the seventeen at my house. I have. Evan Williams. What seventeen? The Heaven Hill eighteen, or the Elijah Craig. Elijah Craig, 18, I know I've had. The Von Kruger's 18. The Von Kruger's aged in styrofoam right. kegs. I have barrel, I literally have a bottle of the barrel proof from like a year ago. I don't have an open, I haven't opened that one yet. Oh, the Eli- yeah, the Elijah Craig 18 I have had. The Heaven Hill I have not had though. The Heaven Hill 18, the Heritage Collection that just came out. And Jay, uh, everyone's talking about. Gives the thumbs up to the Heaven Hill. Yeah, I mean he's okay. he's literally one of the reasons I bought this. Okay, so it's it's on him if I don't. He like is it. a <laughs> he is an inspiration. <laughs> I heard to like us all. the opposite from every, like most of the other stuff I read. It was like ooh, so but I trust him. Uh, I trust him with my bourbon palate. So was, uh, <laughs> I finally was. I was like, wow, they still have it. Shouldn't Elijah be twenty one? You would think at this point, right? Philip Rivers could start a football team with his family alone. I mean, not a football Does team, it? but I think it was. Does he have mostly have daughters? I always thought oh, it was like he could know. start a he girls' football have, team. Okay. It's, it's a lot. He's up there. Nine, maybe? I keep going back to it. Do you? <laughs> Exclamation point. Trust this. Guardian down. Evan Williams single barrel vintage. Interesting. Evan Analyze. Oh, and Mellow Corn. What is that? Set of Mellow Corn is produced in f- accordance with a unique set of regulations that define straight corn whiskey. Huh. Okay. Do you recall the first time it was a little woody? The Elijah Craig 18 or the one we're about to have? That was like the biggest negative I heard about it was people thought the extra year wasn't necessary because then that also like upped the price. But yeah, I'm interested to try it. I still have, I almost had some of the Larceny Barrel Proof the other day, but then I did not. I still have some of that. Mellow Corn, I thought that was a lucky segue. It could be. Could be. The Heaven Hill, okay. Seven Girls and Two Boys. Okay, I thought he was up to around nine. Thought he was up to around nine. Eighteen also, yeah. Eighteen is definitely very very okay. I I actually wound up turning around the corner on the Henry McKenna a little bit that ten year. I like that one like the more I had some of oh, it, like okay. I kind of got down in there. Like again, I don't know unless I found it for the price you can find it. Again, I've seen it at Costco a few times for like forty five. Too much more than that, I don't think I would pay for it. But 
It was good. Dadgummit, that is a I lot of kids. I, I know. don't know if I've yeah. had any Michters. Have we ever done any of that on a podcast? I don't think we have, have we? I just heard Hi, things about we've had Michters. The Michters. I've had the Michters rye and the regular Michters. I don't know if we did a podcast okay. on it. Acceptable. Me too, good in the 40s. Yeah, it's good in the 40s, maybe up to 50 bucks, but yeah. Blech. One of 17 kids, that's a lot. <laughs> there is protection. My mom ran a foster home while growing up. Oh, okay. Oh, Michter's is so low proof. Okay. Oh, yeah. Michter's is 60 I mean, but proof. there's, what's the, oh, but there are some Michter's though. Like they have a single barrel. They have a toasted something that are like high proof or barrel proof or what. So there are some, but yeah, the regular stuff okay. is, is definitely like in the nineties. Wow. That's a, that took a turn. <laughs> My sidearm with me. No, not that kind of protection. Um, yeah, so that's all. That is all their lineup of things. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever seen the Parker's Heritage or Pikesville Rye. Oh, Fitzgerald. Rye. Okay. Yeah, that's right. always like a good one to find. Not raw dog. The regular is eight. Oh, is it eighty four? Oh, is it wow? wow is okay. it even that low? Damn. Yeah. Okay. Now I gotta look at me. Wait, I'm gonna need that one. Don't leave that tab. <laughs> I'll leave that tab. New tab. 2023's World Most Admired Whiskey. Most Mictors. admired. We didn't enjoy it. I don't know what that means. We admired it. It's like, I'm admiring it. You just, you just watch it. You're like, look at that. Yeah. Oh my God, I admire that. You think US1 is a little higher? Maybe. Here we go. God, I just admire what they do. US1 straight rise, 84, oh, yeah. 85, basically. Okay. Oversized shot. Yeah, there are some crazy mods. I have seen some of those videos too, brothers. New tab, creepy wine guy is back. No. Uh, and then what's the American whiskey one? Is that one? That one's even lower. So one's 83, one's 85, basically. And then I don't know what the sour mash one is. Hola, my favorite beverage podcast. <laughs> done, done. Good to see you. How are you? Hola Good to, see you. to you as well. 86 on the sour mash. Straight bourbon? Maybe does that one go a little higher? Nine. Okay, the straight bourbon is 90. Oh, yes. Already auto modded. Let's go. They are also my least favorite podcasters. Oh, wow. wait. They're wait, favorite and least. Wait a minute. What? I don't like any of this. <laughs> Don't forget to ask how you are, Keith. I, I, am, I am doing well. Thank you, brothers. Thanks for checking in. Hope you're doing well also. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, the more I drink this, I am I'm enjoying that. Once again, Fitz says, he has, he has done it. He's done it again. Do, 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 do. The things that are in place have done their job. Things that are in place have done their job, but then I finished the deal with a full band and a report. Let's go. Okay. Haven't done one of those in a while. That feels good. It knows that's how I know we're creeping back up in the world when we finally get someone in trying to sell us something. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Heard one of the brothers plays a game of Destiny, possibly the second version. Yeah, the second version somewhere in there. If you can find the Mictors 20 year, it's 114 proof. Okay, is that the one that's... And is that the one that's also... Is there a separate one that's the toasted barrel? How do I... Is that it? I guess there, oh, see, yeah, there's some expensive ones. I admire them, though. I do admire them. <laughs> I do admire them. For, in 2023, 2024, could be somebody new. Yeah. But for right now, that's I, who I, I admire. I really admire them. That is something I admire. Well, should we grab some whiskey? We've been talking enough Get about it. Bourbon? Let's do it. Yeah. Also heard that Keith is a PvP legend with zero kills. I mean, Keith has a lot of kills in uh, in uh, his League of Legends. Keith is, Keith is winning some yeah, games the new, there. Yeah, uh, the new patch. Any new updates, new patches? Yeah, there's been a new patch. I, there's a lot of different options, and I'm uh, I'm not doing so well on that. But success will come. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. So have you gone back to just the regular and not just the, what were the other, I forget what the other ones are. The what? The TFT? Yeah. There's team fight tactics, but then there was the 
double down or something like that. Oh, the double up. No, double uh, trouble. Uh, yeah, double that's up. what that's what I do most often. Oh, okay. Because uh, Pocket and I have do you gotten that. away from the team fight just the regular itself? Doing uh, no, I will do that uh, when I'm riding the bike in the garage. Oh, okay. I'll bring the, and then it's amazing how fast a half an hour of pedaling in the garage will go by when you're focused on that. Uh, but I actually need to start actually getting out into the real world and doing some biking. But uh, but yeah, I've been I've been doing that. But just yeah, you know, I try some different things uh, when I'm out there, and I haven't quite gotten in there yet. Is Keith going to start playing games on stream? Oh no, you don't want that. That's not good for anybody. <laughs> that's not going to be good for business. That's, that's not good. For that's anybody. not going to be good for anybody. <laughs> yeah. TFT is fun. I have never played it, but like I said, Keith and yeah, his wife enjoy yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, and your son too, right? Everybody? Yeah, he's actually it's kind of pulled back of from... Fan. I don't think he's really doing any gaming at all. He's said he might a little bit uh, here here and there now if uh, if Pocket Act happens to be online and they'll, they will they might start doing something, but he actually has sort of gone, gone no gaming for a little bit. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Street biking while playing your game. That seems dangerous. Yeah, not street biking. Street biking in the garage. Wait, streaking yeah. biking? Streaking and biking? Yeah. No. Well, that'd be painful. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Make it something caught in the chain. <laughs> Wait, no, no. Chain's that way up there. Yeah, no. no none of that. Keith does a bike with a very high chain. That's yeah. all we're saying right <laughs> That's now. Right. That's what we're saying. It runs right <laughs> under the seat. <laughs> yeah. Yo! <laughs> uh Keith plays Raider Schmo as a wine hunter. There is actually a video game that has uh, swept the nation a little bit where you are like work at a convenience store, like a grocery store. Kind oh, of thing. really? You're stocking and handing out. I'm like, why do people actually want to play a game about a job? Like, that sounds uh, so terrible. Yeah. But yeah, it's literally yeah, that. Yeah. You're like running. You're like, you're taking orders. You're unboxing. You're stocking shelves. <laughs> and then you're working with customers. I'm like, that sounds like a nightmare to come home to. Yeah, especially. Yeah. I just did this all day. You just did it for real. <laughs> I don't want to do it now. <laughs> hey guys, let's go streaking on a bike. Yeah, that's I'm streaking. That's like Keith yells through the quad and into yeah. the gymnasium. We're streaking. Uh, <laughs> oh man! All right, let's go grab some whiskey, some glasses, switch it out, and uh, it yeah, we will come back and uh, hopefully enjoy some Heaven Hill. We'll be right back. Some of the titles on the Harris Heller songs that you've got going. Yeah, what are we listening to right now? Uh, healing salve. Salve. But I was looking. Isn't that salve? Salve? Is that salve? How you, isn't that how you salve? Maybe it is salve. Who told you to put the bomb on? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell you to put the bomb on. <laughs> Jackie's getting rich off your wretched disfigurement. <laughs> your um, face will be my case. <laughs> your face is my case. No, uh, camouflaged underneath. Nature's caress. Signature move. Rainy Royal day. Orchard. Rainy day moments. Yeah. Wooded acres. Yeah. Warm peach. Warm peach. <laughs> is that a, a uh, emoji reference? I could eat a peach for peace. <laughs> yeah. uh, isn't it? Or it's eat a peach for peace. I Shoot. combined two things. Face off was I could eat a peach for hours. And then it was like eat a peach for peace is the album by the Doobie Brothers. I think. No, not no. Doobie Brothers. Almond Brothers. No. Oh, and. Uh, Some set of brothers. And the, somebody from them just died today. Oh, no. From the Almond Brothers or the Doobie Brothers? Almond Brothers. Not Michael McDonald. He's the Doobie Brothers. Oh, okay. I uh, forgot. You could probably Google it. One of the guitarists or bassists that played with the Allman Brothers. Um, pants. Going to sip some uh, with you for support. Nice. Shoot. I will actually be happy to, uh, like I said, we are literally going to freshly open this. I wanted to put that as a caveat. Sometimes when it's the higher proof things, I will open them a little earlier, literally let them breathe or sit in the glass for a little bit. We're just going to go right into it. Um, so maybe we'll try and we've got a little extra time here. So maybe we'll let it sit. Uh, as we yep. enjoy some of that, so we'll be able to talk about that. Brothers is enjoying an Irish trash can right now. So chat can send Keith some pants. Do you need pants? I don't think I need pants. I heard a song called Did you come back friends. a little too fast there? <laughs> Maybe. Bev, thank you for being who you are. I'm having a rough day today after losing my job. Thank you for making me laugh. Brothers, I appreciate it. Again, sorry about uh, your job. You had mentioned that in Discord. Sorry to hear about that. The guitarist from the Allman Brothers. Oh, no. The guitarist from the Allman Brothers? Oof. You making doobies down by the river now. Yeah, he is down by the river. A doobie of a brother, <laughs> some might say. There we go. A dubious brother? <laughs> we have a oh no, I don't have that picture up anymore. That dubious brother. <laughs> the dubious brother? The creepy oh, white glass man. Oh. He, he is dubious to say the least. He's dubious. He's not a brother. But Dicky Bass. That's it. Okay, that's oh. the name. Okay. Yes. Do you know who that is? I mean, I know who the Almond Brothers are. Yeah. I do I do think I know who that is. Okay. Do, 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 do. Now I just want to listen to Whipping Post or some other Allman Brothers songs. 
Lord, I was born a rambling man. Bam, 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 that was probably Dickie Betts right there. Bam, bam, bam. That's Dickie Betts. <laughs> there you go. That's Dickie Betts. <laughs> I think they play uh, Allman Brothers' song in uh, Field of Dreams. There's what I know they play the the Doobie Brothers in Field of Dreams. They play China Grove, I believe. Talking but about I think the they China, also play China uh, Jessica Grove. or one of the other uh, Allman Brothers songs. I don't know if it's Melissa. Oh, okay. Could be. Could be Jessica. Melissa. Jessica. Melissa. Susan? Who knows? <laughs> Should they have a song, Susan? Maybe. Mulva? Yeah. Mulva. <laughs> Mulva. Uh, but Dolores. Yeah. Dolores. <laughs> That's... We just start, we haven't gotten very far into it. We just started watching, actually, maybe now it's technically the second, because that first season of Seinfeld is like five episodes. Yeah, it's very short. Uh, we started watching that, because now we have Netflix, so we started watching through that again for the first time. I had forgotten how much stand-up was in that at the beginning. Oh, yeah. Series. It was like almost... At the beginning and then at the end. And in the middle. Like in the middles, they would come oh, back from commercials. Yeah. At least those first like little bit. Like So we're barely into the second episode. But yeah, it's, it's amazing. And I think we've even talked about this sometimes with Cheers. The foundations of certain jokes are literally in like the first couple episodes. The Vandalay Industries, Importer, Exporter. Like this yep. just carries through the entire yep. show. Stuff with Kramer, like having like crazy ideas for, you know, like, yeah. you know, the, like, like how we had the pizza stuff later. But in the very early yeah. ones, he's got ideas for stuff, but just so many little things like that. <laughs> Jerry, can I have your trash? Why? Because I want to make a scent from it. <laughs> just like all those little things, like they literally set those things. But yeah, the art, Vandalay. It's like, that was literally like the second episode. Because that's also the, yeah. Simon Ben and Robin's Oppenheim and Taft. Simon Ben and Robin's Oh, yeah. <laughs> like that stuff. So Do you date uh, immature men? Almost exclusively. Yeah. That's how I asked Rachel. Out I first time. was wondering if you were going to bring that up. I remember <laughs> you saying that. <laughs> Thankfully, she did not remember the line. <laughs> Two years later, I was already too locked in. It didn't matter. Yeah. Damn it. You got that from Seinfeld? You got that from Seinfeld? I don't like his comedy. It also takes genius to know that. So. To, and to use it oh, at the just bro. the right time. Oh, yeah. The man's ear. The bro. The man's ear. Yeah, the bro. <laughs> it's not a pizza until you take it out of the oven. It's a pizza once you put your fist in the yeah. dough. Genius. No soup for you. Yeah. All, so... We've just got, we, it was funny. We started watching. I was like, oh, we should watch through those again. I'm trying to get the extra plastic off the top here. That's what I'm boop, 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 um, boop. And then literally then all of a sudden we started watching uh, Resident Alien, which is really good. So we got hooked onto that. We watched Three Body Problem on Netflix. Like I said, again, we keep Three talking about these. Three Body Problem. Okay. Three yeah. Body Problem. Big recommend. Big so recommend. We think we Pocket would like that. I think so. Okay, good. I think so. Yeah. It's from the people that did Game of Thrones, but it's not like that. Yes. <laughs> like it's more science, it's science fiction. It's like science fiction stuff, mm. science okay. things, nature of the world a little bit. And like I said, different takes on other things, but yeah, <laughs> just trying to know it happens to all guys like a frightened turtle back to the creepy wine. <laughs> yeah. He has a one body problem. Exactly. All right. Heaven Hill bottled and bond seven year bourbon whiskey. Let's find out if we like it. I'm going to find out purchased at Costco, purchased at Costco right around 40 bucks. Um, usually a little bit more than that if you don't get it at Costco uh, I believe there used to be a six year version of that and that used to be the one that everyone really kind of loved uh, and then when it was brought back it had an extra year so a little more aging a little more oak people can sometimes be a little divisive on that and then also the price also went up so they're like no so, well, we'll find out I don't I never had that other one so I've, okay. I don't have that reference so you have no like, preconceived notions exactly it'll just be yes. like is this good or not and that's how it should always be Based on a Chinese novel, right? Yes, it's based on a series of three books. So the first season, I believe, covers the whole first set of books. Did you have you watched it yet, H.J.? That seems like something that you guys would watch. Like one of the first times ever, we literally watched all eight episodes in one day. Okay, and it's like seven hours worth of television. I mean, I would do that every once in a while, like yeah. I said. But like usually, if I get past like two or three episodes, like I said with my wife, usually she's like, "Well, let's watch something else. Let's take a break." Or I'm like, "No, we should watch. We've." Like four series that we have going on now. And I don't know. I'd like to know what I said that convinced it that day. She's like, okay, let's watch it. I was like, oh my God. And then we you said, going, I have some Willet Rye. That maybe was it. <laughs> it should have been what I did. <laughs> Game of Thrones premiered 13 years ago yesterday. Nice. And technically some people say it finished like about six seasons after. Or I still want to watch Sopranos. I've never seen I've that. I've heard people, I've heard so much good of talk about Sopranos that. Sopranos and The Wire are the two people yeah, always, the like, wire, shows always people talk about, yeah. and I have, I have not seen the, either of those. So, so HJ is joining us in a, in a glass. HJ, in cheers. In yeah. a dram, whatever, whatever we say. Ooh, a dram, I like that. It is a Netflix show. It is a Netflix show. 
What about the altos and the sopranos? I got it. The, the fresh maker. I like it. There we go. Oh, that's Mentos. Al- that is Mentos. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. That is Mentos. Uh, I am. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to whatever you might be drinking out there. But yeah, no, H A big, big recommend. Like I said, it is cool science fiction stuff. It's got one of the guys from, um, uh, from the Marvel movies. It's got uh, a bunch of people from game of Thrones. Uh, one guy in particular is amazing. Salud. Um, but you boys let that thing breathe. Should we just open? Yeah, we did just open. We'll swirl it around. It's only 100 proof. Try to picture HJ saying, but you boys let that thing breathe. <laughs> Doesn't look like words have come out of his mouth. No. Is that what yeah. But I like it. It's making, me, it's making me very happy right now. <laughs> you boys better let that thing you boys breathe. better let that thing breathe. You mean when HJ's wearing his cowboy hat and his boots? Yeah. A little Listen pizza, here, a little son. piece of straw in his mouth. I reckon you probably should let that breathe, you, <laughs> you youngins breathe. over there. You ain't ready for that higher proof of the hundred hey, proof. Let that thing breathe. <laughs> Don't you just be drinking that. Now Dutch. Yeah, there you go, brothers. Exactly. I was about to get into that. Uh, that is the wine guy's key phrase. <laughs> you let that breathe now. <laughs> How did you know what I was wearing? <laughs> Boots and a hat. <laughs> well, I knew you'd probably just gotten home from work, so I and figured that's it. it was. You're up rustling things. Good caramel going on in there, a little sweet. Going to open up some of that cotillion because uh, it's Thursday, AK Friday, Junior. Let's go. All right. Open do it up, it. Crocodile. Let's go. Off topic, I just dropped into a level 50 onslaught at Boss Fight, got a filthy roll of Mountain Top. I'm done deleting the game. <laughs> nice. That is one of the best feelings when in a, a game like Destiny, <laughs> an activity that could take up to 45 minutes or an hour, and you load in, so it's matchmaking of other people. Oh, Sometimes yeah. Sometimes you'll get match made, and people are already in the game because someone happened to leave, so they'll put you with it. Oh, wow. You get in at the very end of a thing, you finish in two minutes and get the rewards. That's good times. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes you want to work for it. Sometimes you're like, I just want to be done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I'm sure there is a lot of working, so if you do get that little sort of lottery thing. It is, yeah. yeah take it's that. very much. Yeah, already down. Cheers to that. I'm going to rustle me up some vittles in a bit. Ah, uh, vittles. must be good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have some vittles. Hey, you going to start plucking over on the old six string? Let's go. Get that jamboree going. Sticky uh, spike grenades, auto-loading demo, rampage. Rant. Oh, man, you did get a roll. That's one of the ones I'm looking for, Guardian Down. Nice job. Get a little honey, a little... I was actually going to say, almost, yeah, little, you, yeah, the little, little sweetness in there caramel? is kind of more of like a, like a honey, like a clover honey or something, a little... Is there something a little nutty in there? A little something, but sweet. Like almost hazelnut? There's a sweet, yeah. Hazelnut caramel. I like them, I I like them honey hazelnuts. Did you read in the Pantheon Bev? We can get two raid exotics guaranteed after finishing the gauntlets. I, I did. I didn't know. I don't know if I read that exactly. I just saw exotics, but I have those anyway. But yeah, that's great if they are doing that. So you could uninstall Destiny you've beaten the game, practically. There's also a little something smoky or burnt isn't the right word. I think word. that's the wood. Like there's okay, kind of then a, there's like some, a, some smoky oaky something going on. I'm just a smoky oaky from Muskogee. I would say the aromas in general are on the lighter side, but what is in there in that kind of wisp are all those flavors. So it's yeah. a complex, it's going to say, sound weird to say complex and light at the same time. Yeah. But sometimes you smell like, oh, that's rich with the, like, and that's yeah. usually when it's a heavier aroma coming out. This to me is on the lighter side. I like it though. But it's a hazelnut. It's like honey. Yeah. Some of those, yeah, no, the aroma is very nice. Yeah. The taste? I, absolutely. Yeah, no, that's so, so far so good. Planty is doing hell divers carries, maybe. I reckon you boys need to let that <laughs> new breathe. New phone, who this? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna remember that one for a while. <laughs> Wave one only. Weapons are a thousand voices. Eyes of tomorrow. Collective obligation. A touch of malice. Conditional final. Interesting. Interesting selection. Once again, we like you've read different things. People are probably comparing it price wise and having. And we've never had the other one. Correct. That was 100% so we're coming was in. Problem. I like, like that we're coming in at a, I guess, 
point zero or right. Uh, yeah, for them, everything I always read about was comparing to the old version was thirty dollars. It was six years, so they liked maybe the like I said a little bit lesser oak, maybe a little more on the sweet side, um, and and those characters, and then probably the price. And then they're like, well, you're oaking it for an extra year, so now it's you know forty to fifty dollars depending on where you get it. Price has gone up. Oh, and I don't like that extra oaking anyway. So now I really don't like it because not only is it more expensive, but it's not the taste profile that I'm looking for. Right. So yeah, like I so said, that was that was literally what I initially read. I hadn't really heard it. And like I said, this thing this has been out for a little while. For, for quite a while, actually. But like I said, it was so I had initially read that and then just didn't even think about it. And then it, like again, it was it was Jay and Chat that was like, it was like, no, it's no, it's really good. Like it's you know, it's you know, Has solid. Jay for, had, solid for did orders. he have both? Or is this I his? don't know. It's a good question. Yeah. Hey, Jay, um, have you ever had had the other one that people always talk about the six year Fitz and I were talking a little bit about scotch today. Cause he said his wife had started, she's a, a red wine drinker, but she had, he had bought her a, like a, he said like an 80 or $90 bottle of scotch and she enjoyed that. But then he got her the, the, this list more that we have at the store and you can also get it at total wine, but we can, we sell it at the store. It's like a 17 bottle of space side. And he's oh, like, it's a space side 17. It, no, it's a $17. Oh, okay. You said space. seven. Oh, okay. Sorry. If I, yeah, that was a little confusing, but, um, he's like, he's like, that was pretty damn good. He's like, I felt like kind of silly for buying $85, 85 or $90 bottle. And he, he was actually kind of impressed with the, mm. with the, with the list more. But then we started talking about the Scapa. Yeah. Cause I said, he's the one who got us turned on to that originally. Yeah. yeah he doesn't so. have any of that line around. Does he? No, <laughs> <laughs> he should come over just so we could podcast on that one. If just he still that. had some 16 hanging just around, that. my God, I'd wrestle him to the ground. Only rate exotic I've cared enough about getting was Vex. Yeah, that's a good, that is a really good one. You have not had some of the other. One. Okay. I heard about it when it came back. Okay. That's, that's where I was too. When it like kind of made the comeback and then that was when all these coming around. Scapa 27 here. <laughs> yeah. He said it was now for how long you've had it sitting there. Oh yeah. What, so what was the one that was 85 he said it was or 90? A 14. The what? one, the one that we liked so much, this guy, he said it was a 14 16. year and then they came back to a 16 or was it a 16? 16 and went back to a 14. Oh, okay. All right. Mine was the one that we had that I had two bottles of total was, was a 16. 16. That's what I thought too. And that was okay. the one we finished when the Cubs won the world series. Yeah. So that was a good way to kill that, that bottle. It. Yeah. One for one for touch of malice in D1. <laughs> well, I've got my verdict on this one. One more sip. Okay. Yeah, if you're gonna be able to guarantee getting something, yeah, it kind of makes the raids unnecessary right now. Maybe that's why they're taking Pantheon away. Could be. Oh, Mal, where does Mal where does Malice touch you? <laughs> probably wherever you don't ask yeah. for it. Probably is the opposite. Is it Raid Shadow Legend? Oh my god, I don't think anyone. You don't play Raid Shadow Legend. That's another. I one of those play TFT. Games. <laughs> you it's, used a it's former Madden easy. football player. It's pretty easy. Uh, yeah, back in the day, but only with people. Because I would just be a lineman. <laughs> you like being and now a on line defense, I wouldn't mind. So I, I'd be a linebacker on 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 defense because I felt I could. It was always so funny affect. when you'd play a lineman. That yep. was hilarious. No, I'm just gonna take a lineman. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Uh, that was always funny. <clears throat> I was a lineman for the county, and I drove the main road. <laughs> you also had your boots and your hat on. Your searching in the sun. I'm going Glen Campbell there, so. Mm -hmm. Let your boom, love boom, show. Boom, 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 boom. Like That's the man. Bellamy brothers. Oh, okay. See, I brought up another brothers. We've had Almond brothers, the Bell um, Bellamy brothers, brothers, and the Bellamy brothers. Yeah, Bellamy brothers are actual brothers. Oh, I think Almond brothers. There's two. There's Dwayne. Brothers. Yeah, yeah, there's two of them. Doobie brothers aren't brothers. I don't. think They were so. just brothers in Doobie. I think. You don't know me, but I'm your I'm brother. Going out with my boots on right now. <laughs> going out with my boots. <laughs> my boots on Randy Hauser and me. I don't even know what that is. And the Bevy brother and the Bevy brothers. Right. There we go. There we go. That's true. Michael McDonald is so funny. No Blues brothers, high. not actual brothers. Oh, that's true. Not actual brothers. Maybe, maybe as far as they considered themselves, they were blood brothers. Yes, they were blood pact. Yeah. They were. Yeah. The Weeman. How much for the Weeman? <laughs> and he was yes. brothers, and so it counts the same. But there you go. Very perfectly. I mean, technically, there are brothers that have been in the band. Yes, prob probably.
what is this bottle and bottle? So it's 50. 100 right? proof. 100 proof. 50 percent yep yeah has to be aged at least yep four and, and in one years, particular warehouse right mark. one certain warehouse has to be or one bat or one has to be one, one year one from one year one from year one batch okay. like from one year and, and but although under though like a licensed and bonded it's warehouse a licensed bonded warehouse yeah. right. okay God, it, i can't it, believe i just does it have came to be up at least four years or is it two years HDL i think it's me. four i couldn't remember if it's two or four i'm gonna say four Brothers don't shake hands. Brothers got to hug until it gets sweaty or weird. That's true. That Sometimes sounds like uh, Cope, I think. Right? Could. Four. That, okay, I thought it was four. Okay. I thought it was maybe four. Or, or I don't know, why I don't know what he goes by. Who's Cope. the grappler? Cope. Cope okay. is grappling. Cope is the grappler. That's when it gets sweaty and weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's what wins championships. Yeah, that's what they say in the MMA world. <laughs> brothers. Okay, that's, that's something else. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's, yeah. all right, let's we'll walk go away from, from those this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> let's walk away. Now we'll go. Now we've gone too far. And there's the line. The... <laughs> that's good. I like it. That's really good. Yeah. I get a little vanilla. Vanilla nut definitely has that sort of waffle cone vanilla nut finish, yep. which I, I really like. And um, the little bit of honey is still kind of in yep. there. The oak comes through. It's actually kind of, it's more complex than I thought it would be. Yeah. I'd like a little, maybe a little bit more like kind of body. I know we always say that. Like I said, it seems a yeah. little on the thinner side, um, maybe, but that's, that's really good, actually. That would probably make a solid old-fashioned. Mm, yeah. Because like I said, and a lot of that 40? complexity still can come out. Yeah, if you, if I, for, 40 bucks, I, for 40 bucks, I would not have a problem putting this in an old-fashioned. No, old I still If I'm making that, I, I'd go for something better. Like when, uh, like I said, my wife the other day actually um, randomly asked for She's like, oh, are you, you going to make anything? I was, I was like, well, yeah, like I will. What do you, what do you want? And she asked for an old fashioned, which she never asked for. She only asked for that when she's over at HJ's house. I was like, I don't make these, so I don't know what recipe I'm going to use out of my head. So I, I did something, but I used the Vantage bourbon because I was like, I didn't have anything else. Like I either had, I think I had, what else did I, I had some Elijah Craig there and something else. I was like, ah, it's not the, pr I want a little more proof. So I wound up doing that and I did the maple syrup and stuff like that. So I kind of made my own little version of that with the, and it came out, it was just slightly sweeter than I needed it to be. I needed to do like just a little bit less of the syrup. I had too much sweet in there, but it was overall, it was pretty good. The bitters I had, I used the, I had that black, uh, is it black walnut. No, I'll have to bring out. I bought black a walnut bitters, bottle. I think I had Trader Joe's like orange bitters. bitters. Bring those over to try. She won't ask for mine after the vantage. No, she honestly said the same thing. Like at least the way I made it that I made it, I put in a little bit too much of the syrup. Cause I like, again, I, I like literally never make old fashions at the house. Like I said, and she loves the one that you make. So I was very nervous. I was like, I have no idea. Almost like, I mean, I know what's in it. And I, but I was kind of like, hey, I don't know quite what I want to do for this. So yeah, I, like I said, the, the booze portion was right, but I like, and, and the bitters I did well, but like I said, I just had a little too much of the syrup. It was a little on the sweeter side. So is it when it mixed and watered down a little bit? Oh, brother, we're out there. That was a good movie. I haven't watched that in a long time. That's what we say when you're not here. We say, oh, brothers. That's right. Where are Where they? Where I am a man of constant <laughs> sorrow. sorrow. That's all I know. I don't know if I know I've watched that. We watched it once, and there are lots of pomade references because of his hair. There's that. But, I mean, it was pomade like back in the old west. There's a lot in Red Dead Redemption. Okay. I play that too. But it's it's like a um, it's basically like a retelling of the Odyssey. I think is what. I yes, heard. that's what they. Yeah, yeah. Because like the, the one guy they meet is the Cyclops, like the, whatever yeah. all that kind of stuff. So yeah. it's like a retelling of that in some. Soggy bottom I like, boys. I yeah. Always, yeah, I I liked it because the guy brother. who sings that song sings lead. He was part of. It's not of, George Clooney singing no, that song. <laughs> it's Allison, somebody from Allison Krauss's band, and oh. I I heard or, or saw an interview where he was like, he's like, yeah, he's like, my wife was, she loved it because she was like, my voice was coming out of George Clooney's mouth. <laughs> she's like, and she's like, that was like the perfect thing for her. So uh, that was funny. Unfortunate. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, this is, I mean, once again, not... So she asks for, like, a blindfold, and she just asks to sing that song as they're, <laughs> as they're having sex. <laughs> I pretend you're George Clooney. <laughs> oh, I've got too many items here. No, oh, that's, it's got, yeah, that, it's got a little bit of sweet. There's a little spice on the front, too. On the front of my tongue, yeah, it keeps... got a lot of good... Yeah. I thought that was going to go away after it had a couple sips, but that keeps coming back forward. Yeah. It's a little bit of spice, very well balanced. Yeah, I don't... Again, I can't compare it to what the other ones were, but for this being, a, if you can find it for around forty bucks, this is, this is really good. Yeah, like, I think this is. I'd sip that, and I'd be okay mixing it because you know you're not like trying to bury it in Coke or something like that. You're, right, it's the star of a mixed drink. If you were making so, it the star of yeah. something, this is worth being in that. It's yeah. going to complement things, and I think 
it can be almost made better by if you were making old fashioned or something with yeah. this. So yeah, this is this is very delicious. Very the much Heaven recommend. Hill, yeah. Seven year bottle and bond. Oh God. <laughs> she hits the high notes while he hits the soggy. Bottle. All right, well, let's go. <laughs> we'll get that. <laughs> that's that's freaking good, man. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't know what the soggy bottom would sound like. I don't know what that like a boot stuck in mud, only wetter. <laughs> Apparently, George Clooney was supposed to do the singing originally, but he decided not to. He's like, eh, eh, yeah. I don't want my little, eh, don't want my image tarnished. I don't want my singing. image tarnished. So I'll go invest in Nespresso and tequila. Or in yeah, tequila. tequila. Casa Amigos. Ugh. Don't be buying that. Not good, huh? Don't be buying that. It's got all the additives and stuff. Ah, yeah, in that's it. what you've, I know that's what you're saying. Yeah, and it's yeah. more expensive. Again, less expensive. expensive tequilas, more delicious no additives. Like I said, that El Tecaleno, um, yeah. I, and there's a couple others that I've been enjoying. Like, like I said, those, yeah, 100%. I gotta pour myself. That's good. Touch more. Yeah, but Dapper right. Dan, just, do you want to touch more? Just a touch. Nice. Oh my gosh. Just a tiny. This is how you know it's actually good. Keith wants just a little more. Just a tiny. Well, that was a little too much. Oh, I thought you were saying <laughs> yeah. it wasn't That's enough. That's not enough. Okay. I didn't know. I, was, I, was I like, said, give me the Rachel. <laughs> and he emptied the bottle. I'd have to go find another bottle. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's that is good. Yeah, I don't know if I just went into it with the, he likes it. Hey, Mikey. Oh, but actually, then the real question is, someone like you, yeah, you buy this for forty bucks. If I yeah, if I was in the market for a bourbon, I would. Okay, yes. there we go. Yeah, absolutely. So you got to drink for your other three bottles that you. Have. Yeah, I got to drink through those. So do you like? So when we go out, like, and not, like as, as a question, so when we go out, like you had a Manhattan, you had an old fashioned, you're like, oh, that's yep. good. You enjoyed it. Yep. What is the reason you never make any when you're at the house? Like, what is the reason you never think like, oh, that sounds good? Because when we're out, you enjoy it. And not like I'm saying you should have one every night, but yeah. like once a week, how come you don't think to yourself like, oh, yeah, I'm going to make, because an old fashioned especially is literally bourbon, any sugar of your choice. And then if you have... Some bitters like which you do probably i do yeah i've got the trader so you Joe literally bitters, have all I, the stuff from yeah. old fashioned at your disposal um and i know you're the only one that drinks but it's it's a one person cocktail yeah that's it's not that's, like you have to make four of them that's part of it probably laziness i mean it's just uh you know just i'll just as soon open a bottle of wine or i will do the occasional gin and tonic because that's very easy I mean, I guess from what you're saying, the old fashioned would be easy as well. it is because you don't even have to have yeah. a mixer you make it in the glass yeah or you can make it in the glass but uh, you know, I'll just usually experiment with yeah, you know, a beer or, or some wine. Yeah, just just one like lazy, lazy. Oh, probably else. lazy. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I know. <laughs> mm, laziness is a poor excuse for sobriety. <clears throat> That's a shirt. That's a where's shirt. Your, where's your, where's, <laughs> uh, you don't have it. I'm gonna have to write that down. <laughs> laziness is a poor excuse for sobriety. <laughs> oh man, I was too lazy to be drunk. <laughs> Down here, gotta organize this again. That's good. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. You have to put the QR code that references the show. Yeah, you would. Um, yeah, that could be a QR code one, and then probably what have like maybe two drinks, one standing up, the other one on its side, <laughs> and a liquid poured out. Maybe we could have Alex do a couple of these graphics as opposed to me just making like writing them down. We're like we'll give you ten percent of the sales, whatever that might be. Yeah, <laughs> I got that written down. That's too funny. Feel the burn, and not from the alcohol, apparently. Yeah, exactly. In the time it takes you to open one bottle of wine, you could make yourself an old fashioned. Well, how long do you think it takes me to open a bottle of wine? You got to pull the cap piece off, then you got to undo the cork, then you got to pour it, and then you got to think about it. You're like, God, should I pump this right now? Yeah. Am I going to have a second glass? <laughs> like, all that timing goes into it. Yeah, no, this is very good. Then you don't good. have to worry about like drinking that over. Like, you could literally just make one. You don't have to worry about like the next day, like, oh, I should finish that up or I should drink it and I got to cook with it. Thing is, if it's that good, I probably think I should make another one of these. There you go. And then I'm rolling around on the floor. 
<laughs> Keith making then the I, work. Then I'm Eric Clapton. I hand her the car keys. <laughs> she helps me Pocket to helps bed. you to bed. Yeah. <laughs> and then she asks me. Yeah. If it'll be all right. I say, yeah. You look wonderful <laughs> tonight. Got to work on that tolerance. There you go. Got to build it up. Yeah, the nose on that's actually is, is nice. Like I said, it, I still say it's a little on the like, again, it does not, you know, it's it's not rich with those flavors, but there are a lot of different notes, which are very yeah, nice. Uh, I, little... I, I, I like it. Sure, today I'm a seafood diet. I see food, I eat it. That's right. It's from, uh, yeah. I feel it's like I'm, from a movie. I'm on the seafood diet, yeah. yeah. I've got a vision problem. I don't see myself coming into work today. <laughs> that I haven't heard. That's funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's an old one. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I won't be able to make it in. Why? I've got a vision problem. I, I just don't see myself coming. Don't anywhere. see myself coming in today. <laughs> and all the time savings, you can grab a six pack of your favorite IP. Yeah, with all that savings, just grab another. Hmm. Well, put us down squarely in the camp of it's good. Yeah, especially at that price. How much? Okay. Because you're usually more squeamish on this than I am. Mm-hmm. What, would be, what would be the point where you'd like, eh, I can find something else? What's the dollar amount? Like if this was, Keith, they raised the price on this, it's $50 now. Well, so, since I don't have the array of knowledge that you do, I would still say I like that at $50 too. I think, I think it's probably, it's, but it's, starting probably get, it's starting to get borderline for me. Yeah. Above that, I can, almost other get things, a bottle, I can start getting a bottle of Willet maybe in a little bit more. A little bit that, or even um, now you're getting kind of into Frey Ranch territory. That is actually very true. You can get so, into the Frey Ranch rye. If so, yeah, you're getting into Did that too. I think I still have a little bit. I have like probably like a tenth of an ounce left of the. So, yeah. So, <laughs> I. 69. Um, yeah, the, uh, the Frey Ranch, that straight. I think I have like, I don't even know if I have a half a quarter of a quarter. It's just at the bottom. Because like that Peerless that bourbon so that I bought well, that we got the really good deal on. That was fine, but I like this a lot more. Which one? The peer, Remember the Peerless that we got the good oh, price? Oh, okay. We that's, got, that's, I, that's I, got, a good I question. bought the bourbon and you bought so the So no, that the one rye. normally is like in the 60s. Yeah, I would easily buy this over there. I agree. Um, I think so, this is better than the Peerless bourbon too. Yeah. So. Enjoy it above 50, but it's a constant temptation to 40. Yeah, at the 42 or like I said, whatever yeah. it is. This to me is now like if I'm at Costco and they have it. And I know I'm getting either a little lower on this one. This is definitely yeah. one I would keep replacing keep, yeah. because of the, like I said, the old factor of an old fashioned, yeah. something cheaper to sip. Like I said, I, I think my wife will probably like this too, which is nice. I want a t-shirt that says destiny of life because I need that one roll of a weapon. <laughs> the 69 roll, the jelly roll. So next week Good we are stuff. talking about doing, uh, like I said, we're going to, I'm still trying to figure out, like I've reached out to a few people to see if there's something we can put on the screen. I don't know if I'll just, I have a graphic where we're just like listing <laughs> who's being taken or whatever. Cause obviously we can't play anything cause the NFL and we won't be able to put it crazy. up on the, not really like, so okay. yeah, like so I'll, I'll, I'm going to try and figure something out. I maybe okay. I'm, I'm going to try and find if someone maybe has like a draft board that's like empty that we can kind of like have on the screen or it's just something kind of silly or whatever. Um, and we'll kind of fill it out as we go along, but, uh, yeah, we'll be kind of watching the draft. We're talking about having uh, several beers. So as you keep calling it, the drafts for the draft. Draft for draft. One of them being a draft. Maybe. You say you want it. Well, I'll do it. I just okay. didn't think we could drink that much beer. Well, we don't have to drink it all. We have to drink it all. It has to be empty <laughs> by the time we leave here. Uh, but yeah, we'll have several beers, a little more than uh, normal. Like I said, maybe we'll have like a couple sessionable type things and then uh, maybe a hazy IPA and then into something dark. I'd kind of like to do some sort of an arc, like maybe four things, I guess. Uh, since we do have the shirt that one, I, I can't wear mine because mine's green. Is yours a different color? Mine's blue. I can okay. Wear mine. All right. So you can wear yours. Could next we type week. it so someone just uh, have a whiteboard in the back? Drink a thinking, shot every time someone gets picked. Oh God! <laughs> Some every time someone gets picked. Thirty-two shots. Thirty-two later. shots in yeah. two hours. Wow! Jesus Christ! Uh. <laughs> I'll do a shot every time the Bears take a pick. I'll do that right now because we have two. So I'll do that if you want. <laughs> Planties. Good night, Betty. Good night, Planty. Yep. Have a good rest of your evening. Um, Appreciate you. Appreciate we could you, have probably like a little spreadsheet or something, right? That you could just we could just type it in. Yeah, I mean we could have something like that. Bears on pick because uh, whoever somebody wrote, write, wrote whiteboard up there. Something uh, like that. Uh, 
10 minutes between, right? I mean, it depends. Yeah, that should be fine. Good Lord. I don't know how long, like I said, the first round. Usually first round takes like, what, two and a half hours? Like I said, we'll, <laughs> we'll probably hang around at least for probably like 20 picks or something like that. We'll kind of see where it's yeah, going, we'll how, how things are, how the vibe is going. Right. Um, but yeah, I think there's going to be some interesting, fun things, especially obviously because the Bears are in it. Uh, and over there, Everclear or Water, pick one. Ooh. <laughs> that would be great. You spin a wheel and you have to pick either one or two and you don't know which is which. You could either get a shot of water or a shot of Everclear. He's a whiteboard, just like writing on the back. Yeah, we don't need that. And our writing gets gradually more illegible <laughs> as we go along. What if the bear is straight out of the top 20? Then we keep, then we stay here. At least uh, I'll stay here. If Keith feels he needs to go, like I'll keep going. We'll see it. how the timer goes. Yeah. We'll see how the time it is. But I, I feel they are going to, I feel they're going to pick at nine. The worst I think they would trade down to is maybe in the teen, but I hope not. I hope they stay at nine as pick a good player. If they do that, shots galore. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to try and look this weekend and see if there's, something or what I want to set up, like I said, to make that at least mildly interesting. But yeah, so we'll be having some draft talk, like I said, but it won't just be, you know, be a fair amount of sports focus. So if that's not your thing, I totally get it. Um, but we will still be having some beer and beverage conversation uh, as well as we're having a few different things uh, that we'll plan out this week. We're going to pick some things at our local tap and bottle uh, and have those some kind of an arc. But yeah, that'll be the plan for next week. And then maybe, yep. maybe the week after we do our scotch blind tasting or something. That could maybe, be fun. Maybe yep. we throw that in there. Yep. Draft ball with sports. I'll be there. Life uh, sports is life. Fight me. Well, I mean, I don't want to fight you, so I, I will have to agree. I don't want to fight you at all whatsoever. Uh oh, are Let's we see. dropping in on? We have to since he came in here Lucky. earlier. Wait, Whoa. Dan, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, <laughs> Dan, what are you doing? Thank you for the raid. That is super super nice. As we are wrapping scotch, up scotch, our podcast. Scotch or scotch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Dan, thank you so much for the raid. That is super, super nice. How did the rest of your destiny and things uh, go? Appreciate it. That is very, very kind. The Fletcher guy, thank you thank for you. the follow. Appreciate it. Oh, my gosh. If you guys are not following Dan Finity, you have made absolutely terrible mistakes that we need to get fixed right away. It's going to be very simple. At the top of the screen, there's going to be a heart. If it is purple, you need to turn it green. If it is already green, you're good to go. You are following a, another wonderful, wonderful person here on Twitch. Uh, so I was hanging out in their chat again earlier today. Good conversations as always. He also has a podcast. You should make sure you follow that. Uh, lots of wonderful things. He's starting up some more YouTube content as of late. Please go follow him on all the social media things. Just an excellent, excellent guy. And like I said, a wonderful, wonderful person as well. So please go follow Dan if you are not. Again, that stupid uh, little heart is going to go away way too quickly, which I absolutely think is ridiculous. So we've got one more thing we're going to do here. If you were a little too far away, as I always like to say. You were just like a little too far away. You had Bluetooth on. You'd walked away. And you're like, oh, my God, there's someone I need to follow. And you can't get back to the computer. The heart's gone. It's just kind of ridiculous like that. Uh, here is a link that I'm going to put in chat. You can right click on that, open up a tab, and hit the follow button there as well. Evening, Dan. It is good to see you. How was your onslaught? What also were you doing? Were you doing some raids as well uh, in Destiny? Yeah, we were actually just wrapping things up. So. Yeah, <laughs> this is the least exciting part yeah, of the show. Yeah, this is the least exciting part. Uh, Although we, were, we are trading, we're handing then things off to Lucky. Who that's will true. Be very happy. It was a great uh, night. Yeah. Nice. Well, I'm glad it was a great night. Yeah, we were just talking about, we enjoyed many things tonight. If you guys are new to the podcast, new to the show, uh, we do this thing every Thursday evening-ish, as we like to say. Ish. Around 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern. Uh, my brother and I get together. Uh, and we have uh, some beverages. Like I said, we've done this podcast for now uh, over a decade. It's come up on 15 years 15, on and off. Yeah. Uh, at least the website. But like I said, all of the videos are up on YouTube. It is by law that I have to hit some of these shameless plugs. I apologize for everyone that just came into chat. But these are some links that I would love for you guys to check out, especially the YouTube page, uh, which we just hit over 2,000 subscribers on, which was super nice. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, that was really okay. cool. So yeah, add your name onto that as well on our way to 2,500 or 3,000. Whatever next number I decide to put up. Like, man, I wish we could get to this. We got some help here. Always the, do it. That's uh, letting everybody know what we did try tonight. That is true. Like, we've always got the beverage command in chat. Exclamation point beverage. We had a Trader Joe's golden oolong tea, which is very good. Literally water and oolong tea. Yep. Nothing else. Some ascorbic acid, you like to say. Uh, yes, ascorbic. For, for, for the vitamin C. Ascorbic acid, the vitamin C to keep the colors yes. uh, what it needs to be. Uh, we also had a rosé, which was pretty good for yeah. $7. Let's say that. Let's say $7. Yep. That one was good. And then we finished it off, which we were just uh, talking about the Heaven Hill Bottled and Bod Seven Year Bourbon. Very, very delicious on that one. Definitely recommend if you can find that for under 50 uh, in that 40 to $45 range for sure. Good stream, you too. Thank you, Crocodile. Yeah, thank Appreciate you. that. Thanks, everybody who was here. 
going to be a, a good one as well. But yeah, I will be back on again tomorrow, usual time, 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 o'clock Eastern. Uh, if Again, if you are new to seeing me because you don't normally in the evenings doing things, uh, like I said, I stream uh, during the day uh, every day. That is during the week, not Saturday or Sunday, usually. Sometimes there's some special ones, but usually during the week. Those are special uh, events. Destiny. Yeah, special events. Uh, do some Destiny stuff, do some other indie games, role-playing stuff. So if any of that stuff plus beverage podcasts interest you, please drop a follow. Would appreciate it. Trader Joe's has the interesting cheeses. We do have a lot of good cheese. You always have the sure. unexpected cheddar. Isn't that the one you always... That is, uh, that's one of the good ones. There's a lot of others, and then they have a spo- we have a spotlight. Every month it's something different that we... Shine a spotlight on. I know. I know. Good stuff. Do you write for the Fearless Flyer? I do not. <laughs> <laughs> you should at some point, I feel. I feel you should at some point. Um, all right, we're going to go say hi. Uh, we had already planned out. Let's go say hi to Lucky right now. He's doing some onslaught things and stuff. Appreciate the raid so much, Dan. Uh, like, again, uh, everybody that came in here, thank you guys so much for being here. Definitely hit the follow button if you so choose and uh, go check out all the other things. Anytime. Appreciate you, appreciate you Dan. Anytime. Um, but yeah, let's go say hi to Lucky and uh, I will be back on again tomorrow, 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 o'clock Eastern for more uh, gaming things and stuff. Looking for all the buttons. Where are my buttons? There it is. Hey, music starting. There it is. Thank you, everybody. We appreciate it. It was a great night. We'll, I will see you next week. See him tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night.